been raining for a couple of days in Philadelphia, but all that's gone away. It's a perfect day at Veterans Stadium for the match between the Washington Redskins at one and one and the surprising Philadelphia Eagles, who are two and oh. I'm Pat Summerall with John Madden, and boy, is it nice to say that again. Well, I'll tell you, it's nice to have you back. You've been doing that golf and that tennis, and it's good to get you back here where guys are hitting each other. Well, it's good to be back, John. What about today's game, the Redskins and the Eagles? The Redskins, of course, start with a new quarterback and a beat-up offensive line. How are they going to handle that? I think the beat-up offensive line will do pretty well because that brings the Joe Jacoby back in there. That brings Jeff Bostick back in there. But... The question is going to be how is Kerry Conklin going to do it's his first game he's ever started in the NFL he's been with the Redskins for four years he knows the system but how is he going to play that system like I've always said the best friend of a quarterback is a good running game and I think the Redskins today have to be able to run the ball stay out of third and long now on the Eagle side what they want to do they say we want to stop that run stuff that run not give him any place to go make a pass get him in that long yardage and then go after him with heavy blitzes. Well the Redskins will get the first chance on offense. Desmond Howard and Brian Mitchell back deep. The Eagles have a new kicker Matt Barr not a new name certainly he's been around. Roger Rujic went down last week. Barr kicks off and it's a good one. Out of the end zone is Mitchell. Just shy of the 20, the ball might be loose. But uh, apparently the Redskins got it back. Their offensive unit will be led by Kerry Conklin. 6'4", 215, he looks bigger than that. Been around with the Redskins for four years. That's the rebuild offensive line. Jacoby at left tackle. Raleigh McKenzie moves to right guard. Finer, Mitchell, Sanders, McGee, and Middleton will handle the ball along with Conklin. They'll make a lot of changes in that area. First and ten at about the 19. Mitchell is the deep back. They open with three wide receivers. They open the up complete. And out of bounds at about the 39. He got about 20 yards. 19, let's call it. The Eagle defense. Four man front Simmons and Flores the ends Harmon and Keith Millard the tackle Thomas Evans and Joyner there may not be a better group than that as linebacker in the secondary Eric Allen and Mark McMillan the cornerbacks Miano and Hopkins the safeties first down Redskins at their own thirty nine. Stopped by Flores, among others. You know, we were talking to Kerry Conklin last night, and the thing he said, I want to get off to a fast start, a good start. So what the Redskins did is they started with three wide receivers. That means Art Monk starts a game, and he rolls out to his right on his first play. Conklin does. Who does he look for? The guy that has caught passes in 151 consecutive games, Art Monk. And the guy he said he had worked with more than any other. Second and seven. Redskins at their own 41. Conklin slipped down and coming away from the center. The artificial turf still damp in spots. I don't know if that was an artificial turf or if he stepped on one of his offensive linemen. You know, sometimes they get caught up in the center's foot, but that looked like he just took that hand off and just started stumbling. He got turned around sideways and ended up backwards. That was an ugly start to a play. That may have been a nervous start. Third and 11. Middleton, the tight end, lined up on the right side. Sanders moving around, and here is Conklin back to throw. On the hop, incomplete. They'll have to punt. Now that was a situation that the Eagles wanted to get him in, and that's where they're going to have the tough problem, that third and long, because that's tough for a guy playing his first NFL game as a starter, but that's tough for any quarterback in this league. By Sakahima is number 22. Gave us uh, both a pair of sunglasses yesterday. Reggie Roby 
Back to punt for Washington. Always has had that very high drop. Sakahima has to let it bounce. The Redskins are down, but led by Eilers in good shape. Ball finally bounced out of bounds, and so the Eagles will take over. 13.02 left, first quarter. As expected, the shape is new and beautiful. As expected, it's quieter and has more space. As expected, there are dual airbags and anti-lock brakes. As expected, the automotive world once again revolves around one car. The new Accord EX from Honda. As expected. You know, uh, I was the first one in my family to go to college. It was a nice school thing, which is cool, because now I can do some good things and, and, and give back what I learned. And the brothers, and they see me, and maybe they'll want to do something better for themselves, you know? Because if, if the younger generation makes the same mistakes we do, I mean, I mean, who, whose fault is that? Man, there's just a lot of happening things, you know, around when you stop giving in. The Eagles will have the ball for the first time. Nothing, nothing. Randall Cunningham is their leader. In front of him, a rebuilt and very effective offensive line. Thompson and Antone Davis, the tackles. Shad and Floyd, the guards, and Dave Alexander, the veteran at center. Herschel Walker, Heath Sherman, Fred Barnett, Calvin Williams, and Mark Bavaro, the tight end. We'll see a lot of Vaughn Hebron today. But they begin with Walker and Sherman. Walker is the deep back. Cunningham quickly. Outside incomplete. Very nearly intercepted by A.J. Johnson. Good play. Wobbly pass. Redskin defense. Collins and Mann suffering from knee problems at the defensive end. The linebackers Coleman, Gavea in the middle, and Carl Banks, the ex giant. Daryl Green and A.J. Johnson, the cornerbacks, Edwards and Copeland, the two safeties. Veteran solid secondary. Second down, 10. Two target set up for the Eagles. Walker. Redskins are there in a hurry. Led by Brad Edwards. You know, if there's any place that this Eagle team has really improved this year, it's in the area of the offensive line. And I think you have to add tight end Mark Bavaro. You see him, 84, make a block. He gets that, he gets that whole side caved down. Herschel Walker tries to take it to the outside. And of course, the free safety, who you don't count for, Brad Edwards, comes up and makes a tackle on the line of scrimmage. Bavaro has always been one of those guys that just sort of sticks to a block. Hey, he's a great blocker. I mean, he can block a big defensive end by himself. Running hand back. Incomplete. They aren't going to let Mark Bavaro, though, have that middle today. Last week against the Green Bay Packers, Bavaro was open all day in the middle. That time, Bavaro went to the middle. Cunningham was looking for him. They had good coverage on him. Cunningham had to come off to him and go to his second receiver. The nearest Redskin was Alvoid Mays. Desmond Howard back deep for the Redskins. Feagles the punter. In a hurry, Otis Smith, number 30 for Philadelphia. That's the result you look for. 12:01 left first quarter. Ignition. Check. Tachometer. Check. Any 
Anti-lock brakes. Check. Air conditioning. Check. Dual airbags. Check. Check. Cruise control. Check. Power sunroof. Check. Seven speaker stereo. Check, 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 check. The Prelude VTEC from Honda. Check it out. After a while, it became a little too much to bear. So I headed to True Value and asked if there was anything I could do. Bob told me there was and gave me some very detailed instructions. I mean, you get used to the roller coaster, but the dripping faucet was really getting on my nerves. This is a Goodyear Aquatread, and this is a gallon of water. Aquatread's deep groove design channels water away. At highway speeds, it moves a gallon of water every second for outstanding wet traction. Aquatread, only from Goodyear. When you get zapped by circumstances beyond your control, it's good to know that MetLife works hard to pay your claim promptly. Get Met, it pays. CBS Sports coverage of the National Football League is sponsored by American Honda, who has been making quality cars in America for the past 10 years. Intel, the computer inside. Levi's loose-fitting jeans. And by the American Express card. Don't leave home without it. Veteran Stadium in Philadelphia. Each team has had a possession, both unsuccessful. Neither one able to make a first down. Redskins have it for another shot now. Gary Conklin, the quarterback. Reggie Brooks, the ball carrier, picked up two or three right side on the old familiar play for the Redskins. Yeah, you know, last night we were talking to Richie Pettibone. He said that Reggie Brooks, who is their number two draft choice, rookie out of Notre Dame, is going to be their featured running back today. In fact, he said he's the first time that they've had a real home run hitter at that position, a guy that any time he gets his hands on the ball can take it a long way. Has great balance, speed, great legs, all those things. Very compact, but very quick. Monk is in the slot to the right. Now he starts in motion. Familiar sight. Here's Conklin. Intended, I believe, for Middleton. It bounced off him. See, that's the thing that after you make that two or three yard run, then you either have to come back with another run to create a third and shorter or try for a pass to pick it up. Now, when that pass is incomplete, like it was then, then you're going to end up in that situation that the Redskins don't want to be in that third and long and the situation that the Eagles want to put them in. Third and three or four, okay. If you're on offense, but not this long. Flag on the play. Pass is incomplete. Penalty markers flying and flying everywhere. The reason you don't want that third and long is that's when the defense can just tee off. They don't worry about the run. They can widen out. Those ends take wide splits. They tee off on you. The linebackers can come. Everyone can just go and all out rush the quarterback. Tim McGee was the intended receiver. Tom White is the referee. Lined up in the neutral zone. Five yards. Still third down. Somebody lined up in the neutral zone. Yeah, and it's probably over the years, Keith Millard, number 77, has been that guy yeah. who's always tried to get as much of the football as he can. And of course, the neutral zone is the length of the football. You can't have anything, your head, your hand, any part of your body over the football. But look how Bostic just moves it out a little. That's a street move. Third a couple. Conklin's pass is complete again to Monk. In Eagle territory. They say that Art Monk has been around too long, maybe. Slowed down a little bit. Doesn't show, does it? No, it doesn't because he just knows how to play the game and he knows how to compete and he knows how 
how to get open. I mean, there's just a zone defense. He really didn't do anything it just except have a feel you know get by those linebackers now come under control a little before you get to that secondary and that's a feel that you get for after playing this game for 14 years. There are certain people who never get it. Art Monk is one of those who has that feel that you were talking about Middleton on the move. Semi roll left. Intended for McGee incomplete. Eric Allen and Wes Hopkins back there with him. You know, that was a that was a big penalty by Keith Millard being in that neutral zone because it was incomplete pass. Then it gave him a shorter yardage on third down, and then they picked up the first. And I think that all those things, plus Conklin getting better field position and a little confidence. When you get a guy starting his first game, you can't give him any confidence. And the Eagles defense on that third down play gave him a little confidence. You know, Conklin's been around for four years, so the system isn't all that unfamiliar to him. But under game conditions, it is. It's a world of difference. And there it is right there. You just saw it right there. In fact, Richie Pettibone said, Mark Rippon is great at audibleizing. He said, I worry about Conklin trying to do that and that's exactly what happened there. They're moving around they're moving around and then he was trying to get an audible. The clock went out on him. He didn't know what to do and he just had to take a timeout. There's head coach Richie Pettibone. I think this is an NFL record today Pat. It's the first time it's ever happened where two head coaches named Richie are in a game together. That's never happened before in the history of the league, nor has a guy ever worn a thing like that on his belt in the history of the league as a head coach. We looked it up, and that's true. Right at the line of scrimmage, Clyde Simmons. Yeah, if you look at Richie Pettibone right here, that thing right there, that's, that's his defensive game plan. And then of course then if you look at everything he has hooked up to he has that then he has he has a side thing here and that and then he's connected back here so he can talk to people upside. I mean he's he's connected everywhere and he has everything you ever needed right there hanging on you. If you need it he got it hanging on. him. It's not good if you need to escape however. Third and 16. You have to stay put with that stuff. Conklin back to throw. Complete. Covered by Byron Evans. And you're talking about the Eagle linebackers may be the best set of linebackers in the NFL. I agree with that. And one of the things that they do so well is what Byron Evans did there is they cover and not only cover the short guys, but they cover deep. Byron Evans and Seth Joyner. Richie Kotite was saying they both could be tight ends if need be. That's the kind of athletes they are. They can cover the tight end. Roby. Kick sailed high and deep. This is a dandy. Into the end zone. They'll bring it back to the 20. No score yet at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. This simple outside says inside you'll find a lasting commitment to performance. The Intel 486DX2 processor, power for today's hottest software, and the Intel Pentium processor for the next generation of compatible power. That's Intel, the computer inside. The interior of the Honda Civic was developed with a sunblock to help protect the fabric from fading and cracking over the life of the car. So while you may have a limit on your time in the sun, the Civic doesn't. See you tomorrow. The hands, to me, are the most important part of sports. And I began to realize my hands was quick when I started picking cotton. At that time, blacks could not play in the major leagues. In my mind, I was saying, this is something I really want. And sure enough, in 1953, I signed uh, with the Cubs. 
I've been a member of the Hall of Fame since 1977. I've been an American Express card member since 1989. American Express is welcomed at the Hall of Fame and anywhere else people go to dream. Washington nothing, Philadelphia nothing. First quarter, Joe Jacoby. Now when you talk you. about the grizzled veterans, you say, what's a grizzled vet? Guy comes back, he's never seen a football game, and you use the word grizzled veteran. There's a picture of a grizzled veteran. And what they told us, is Jacoby had to start at left tackle. You said, that's not a kid they're putting in there. That's a man. And he is. Sherman. Stop by Govea. The Eagles inactive players as of Friday Waters Reed Thomas and Ruzek. Sunday Jones Holmes. Jeter. And McMillan second and four. Again by Govea. Oh, he makes a lot of tackles. Govea, he has a he has a great feel for the game. You know, he's an undersized middle linebacker, but he's just one of those guys that has great instincts. He reads well, he knows, he feels where the ball is, and you see how he just takes on a block. That was Mike Shad there. He just took him and just pushed him away the way he was going and got right in behind and made that tackle. Got a little assist from Williams, Eric Williams. Here's Cunningham to throw it. Pass complete. To the Eagles, Victor Bailey. He was the guy that made that big catch last week. In fact, in Green Bay, the Eagles were down 17 to 10, and Randall Cunningham scrambled, got by Reggie White, and launched one about 50 yards to Victor Bailey that tied the score, and they later went on and got a field goal to win it. But this Bailey is going to be a star in this league. I think one of those guys who just look like they're going to make something happen. First and 10. Behind the line of scrimmage by Banks. If you're going to run on that strong side, you better you better get Carl Banks cut down. You just can't string him out. Watch him as they start to that outside. Now see Banks here. He reads it. He knows they're going. He takes on that block. Now, of course, they were trying to kick him out, and the runner runs right into where they're kicking him out. And part of that is because of the pressure from the inside that bounced him to the outside. Banks played that well. Second and ten. Fakes to Sherman. And a man in his face had to pull it down for it to the ball complete. You see Shane Collins on that game. He was the guy that was rushing, rushing Cunningham. And the thing you teach your defensive lineman, watch number 91, Shane Collins, never leave your feet. See, this is a bootleg. You fake to the backs going one way, come this other way. You see that little fake? Boom, he got Collins up in the air. Just that move there, then that could buy him some time to the, get to the outside, look for Bavaro in the middle of the field. You especially don't leave your feet if it's Randall Cunningham. Right, and that guy just thought Carl Banks goes out as well as anyone. There is the rookie, Hebron. There is an exciting football player. You talk about a fun guy to watch, a fun guy to talk to, and I bet as a, a teammate, a fun guy to have on your team. It's this guy, Von Hebron. I mean, he appreciates being here. He loves playing football. He's a, a, a little compact guy with great moves. You just saw one of them right there. Number 45, Vaughn Hebron. Again. Not going to run over a lot of people. But he's got that sparkle, that great smile. Yeah, and he's a powerful little guy. He was telling us yesterday, you know, of course, he's a free agent. I mean, this, you know, they have all these scouting system combines, computers, but they still miss good football players, and this is one that they missed. In fact, he was saying that 
his whole family wanted to give him a draft party and he said no no I don't want a draft party I might not get drafted he said they had a party all the people over there and he said it was the longest day of his life that that draft day when he didn't get drafted he said I was trying to be strong for them and they were trying to be strong for me and all there was was a lot of strength in the room and no draft the Eagles were the first team to call them Dick Wood the backfield coach of the Eagles had liked him watched film on him and liked him and wanted him they were the first team to call him right after the draft and he said I, I already took chances in draft I'm not taking any more chances I'm going to go play for the Eagles they're happy about it and he's happy about it here's Cunningham to throw it gets an axe right over his head bounced off his hands all you got to do is talk about a guy and he didn't make the play. Yeah, that that's, really gonna, that's really That's really going to eat him up because he's the type of guy that wants to make every play, uh, you know, has a burning desire and wants everyone to like him and to trust him. And you see here, when Cunningham throws the ball, he should have caught that ball. It's a little high, but he knows it. He hopes that Cunningham will stay with him. And he will. If Randall Cunningham is as smart as I think he is. You know, anytime you ever talk about Hebron to Cunningham, a smile comes over Cunningham's face. There he is, back to throw. Cunningham has Barnett. I beg your pardon, it's Calvin Williams that made the reception. You know, Cunningham looks so much more comfortable this year. And I think it's for one big reason that offensive line. This is the first time that the Eagle offensive line has really had good pass protectors. And I think it starts with their left tackle, Broderick Thompson. In fact, he got pushed back on that one a little bit. That whole front, these front three guys, Shad, Alexander, and Floyd, they're solid in the middle, not letting any penetration so Cunningham could step up. Nothing doing. Bobby Wilson made the stop for the Redskins. Here's another player, Wilson. Richie Pettibone was saying last night he's going to play a lot more and he's going to get a lot better. Richie Pettibone really hasn't been satisfied with this Redskin defense. And he said, We're not playing well enough. He said, Our four man rush isn't good enough. He said, and he hopes that, that Bobby Wilson will play and, and, and be a big part of it. He said, because he could be their best defensive lineman. Second and 12. Cunningham to Walker. Walker stepped down a little tackler. Stopped by Monty Coleman. Cunningham can do things with a football like a basketball player. I mean, you know, that that looked like a kind of a half pass, half lateral, half fumble. You know, it kind of looked like he may have fumbled it. Well, he, has he huge, got the ball hands. back there. I know it, it, it's just, I mean, he's kind of bring it back and then he does this and then he just throws a little pass to anyone, throws it overhand, underhand, left footed. Yesterday we were watching him out, out there, he was kicking field goals. Yeah. He can kick it, throw it, do anything with that ball. Third and eight. There at about the 15 as Cunningham goes back to Hebron. Slipped at about the 12. Down at about the 10. A.J. Johnson made the stop. And that was one that you think on third down you always like to get the ball. I've always believed that you throw the ball beyond the first down marker. Because if not you have too much of that where you throw it you complete it but you still have to go for the field goal. Matt Barr with Eagles holding. And Matt Barr puts the Eagles on the scoreboard. They lead the Washington Redskins 3-0. 234 left first quarter. We're leaving in 10 minutes. While virtual reality isn't quite here yet, the car is the new Accord from Honda.
which 800 service gives you the best shot at sales? Well, if there's a problem, only AT&T guarantees to reroute your calls in less than a second. That should keep your pockets full. One more reason to choose AT&T 800 service, the best in the business. See these as catalogs and print them in a month. See them as documents and print them electronically in days. It saved one company $350,000 a year. See your documents differently. Call 1-800-ASK-XEROX, the document company. Come on, push yourself. Put your heart into it. Be tough. I'm not going to pay a lot for this muffler. More feeling. I'm not going to pay a lot for this muffler. Now that I'm in the Monarchy Corner, if anyone says you have to pay a lot to get high-quality muffler service, you know what to tell them. I am not going to pay a lot for this muffler. By George, I think he's got it. Now more than ever, at Meineke, you're not going to pay a lot, but you'll get a lot. I guarantee it. Dave Talks Baseball with Yankee star Jim Abbott. Still awake? I'll fix that. Monday on Late Show with David Letterman. The Eagles three, the Redskins nothing. 2.34 left to play in the first quarter. A lot of messages on that board. Matt Barr. Undercut it a little bit. Brian Mitchell. To about the 28 before he's taken down. That has to be a kicker term. I never heard of that one before. That was one of the ugliest looking kickoffs I ever, I ever saw. You said he undercut it? I'm trying to be kind. <laughs> that sounds like something you do in a golf tour when yeah. a guy comes up short. What did he do? He, he undercut that shot. He undercut it. <laughs> I want to look at this. I got to look at this thing in the clicker. I have no idea what an undercut is. I want to see it on a clicker. I don't know, but that thing, I mean, he just he just lobbed a knuckleball out of there. Got too far in front of it. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you ex-kickers have excuses for me. Just make up words. He undercut it. Then I put it on the clicker. You said he got too far in front of it. <laughs> well. <laughs> well, you kickers. Undercut it, got too far in front of him, although he did kick the first one. He kicked into the end zone, and he made the field goal. So yeah, Matt he, Barr said he's here just for the weekend. He and I had a conversation yesterday, and I gave him a couple of new excuses. <laughs> <laughs> Undercut it. <laughs> Pass from Conklin is complete. Stopped by McMillan to Ricky Sanders. As well, you know, you know, McMillan's only five foot six, and so the one any anyone tries to play big on McMillan, you know, you try and just get the ball, use your body, you know, keep him out with your shoulders, and then when you catch it, just turn and boom, just try and run over him. I tell you, he hangs in there, Drew McMillan. I mean, he hangs in there. He is a scrapper. Third and three. Knockdown. That'll be enough for a Redskin first down. I think. Desmond Howard just two years ago won the Heisman Trophy. And uh, getting into this thing now with the Washington Redskins as a returner. Richie Pettibone said last night he was going to use him a little more today as a receiver. Well he hasn't been able to practice. He's had all kind of minor injuries. And it's pretty hard to play if you can't practice. And it's pretty hard to play too when you have you know an Art Monk there, and in essence, I think Art Monk just really beat him out. That's Brooks looking for something to happen that didn't happen. I think Reggie Brooks was going to be the surprise for the Eagles today, but it looks like the Eagles were in on the Redskins' game plan. I think that that was going to be a big part. They were going to put Reggie Brooks in there, and they expected him to, you know, get some yardage on first down. Again, trying to keep out of those long yardage third down situations. That's the end of the first quarter with the score: Philadelphia three, Washington nothing. You're looking at Tinia Pettis, commonly known as Athlete's Foot. 
But what's not commonly known is many types of fungus cause it. And to cure it all, you've got to kill it all. But today, there's a full prescription-strength medicine, the one most recommended by doctors, Lotrimin AF. The broad-spectrum power of Lotrimin AF doesn't just get some athlete's foot fungus, it kills it all. Lotrimin AF, the cure that gets it all. Far from Bourbon Street, in its own little corner of the Garden District, is the most fabled house in New Orleans, the Maple Street Children's Bookshop, where the folks who write the books also read them. So if you go, bring your wildest imagination and your visa card, because at Maple Street, they'll take you on a truly magical journey, but they won't take American Express. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. All right, this has to be in L.A. tomorrow. No problem, sir. With express mail from the Postal Service, you're never left in the dark. Yes, your package is in L.A. and will be delivered. Morning. From just $9.95, we track, we trace, we deliver for you. It's the birth of a brand new season. Try to relax between contractions. I'm a man! I can't have a baby! Northern Exposure. Here it comes! The due date is Monday. Veteran Stadium in Philadelphia. That's not the stadium. We're at the stadium where the Eagles and the Redskins renew their long, long rivalry. Three nothing. The Eagles lead. Second and nine. Redskins ball. At their own 45. Conklin to throw it. Pass is intercepted. Rich Miano. Pressure from Clyde Simmons and from Keith Millard. Yeah, that was an interesting shift. That the, the whole defensive line shifted before the play. I tell you, that's that's after the play. The first thing you teach there's very few free shots that a defensive lineman gets at a quarterback, but you get one after he throws an interception. Here's, here's a whole play from the right hand side. Clyde Simmons is going to get a little push there, but the pass protection wasn't bad. I just think Conklin just made a bad read on that thing. Didn't even see me on him. That's Heath Sherman, the ball carrier. The yeah, what happens is, is now, I was just going to say that after an interception, then the offense goes to defense, the defense goes to offense, so Conklin who threw the pass is now a defender and Millard is now an offender so he can go and block him. Second and eight. Doesn't mean you can maim him. No, well, you can undercut him though if you want yeah, to. Can. Looked like a call play that is unsuccessful, and Cunningham goes out of bounds. Well, they didn't get Carl Banks, and they didn't get A.J. Johnson, and Cunningham was trying to get that corner. You know, he, the offensive line for the Eagles is a good offensive line now, and we've said that then you add Mark Bavaro as a blocker, and you really have something there. Bavaro got a corner on that time for Cunningham. But then A.J. Johnson and Banks just played off and didn't give him the long corner. Four wide receivers for the Eagles. Redskins blitz. Cunningham comes out of everything and goes deep. He's got a man open momentarily. Knocked down to last second as Daryl Green was back. Daryl Green has that catch-up speed. The guy that makes a heck of a block is Mike Shad, but but just watch Daryl Green was beaten there for a while again by Bailey, but Daryl Green, one of the fastest players in the league, has that great catch-up speed. There we see Shane Collins. He just he just hit Cunningham just as he threw that ball. He goes to punt, and it's a good one. Fair catch single for by Mitchell. He has to let it bounce and out of bounds. So well, the Redskins will take over. Three nothing. Eagles lead it. 
Some people get nasal congestion, but if you get sinus congestion, use a sinus spray like Sinex. Only Sinex has a decongestant plus Vicks Vapors, so you can feel your swollen passages open up. For sinus, think Sinex. Well, I mean, I work a lot of hours all week. You know, on the weekends, that's my time. And I think it's important to be with the brothers. Work's really important to me, too, but it's nothing like having a whole crew of friends. You know, just hanging and throwing out certain philosophies at one another. We don't do anything in particular. It's just more about loyalty and consideration for the crew you hang in with. And the ladies understand that. Because, you know, it's what we got to do. Coming September 24th. You're going to lead us to the promised land? They will have to work together. Yeah. I tore them To survive. Let's go! The program. Rated R. Hi, I'm Pete Fowl. Next week, the 49ers are coming to New Orleans to play my beloved Saints. And John and Pat are coming down here to do the game. But I'll let you in on a secret. John's letting me borrow the Madden Cruiser for a tour of Bourbon Street. But what he doesn't know, when he gets it back, it's going to be a convertible. Yeah. Pete? Yeah, I would expect, if Pete Fountain has it, I would expect it to come back as a convertible, though. Pete could use a new top. <laughs> I'll tell you, it'll be nice to be down there next week in, yeah. in New Orleans. I think you know, you know that's always a big game and a great game when the when the 49ers have to go play the Saints. I think over the years they've always talked about the team that they worry the most about, the team that they dread playing the most, and it's always the Saints in New Orleans. Well, a lot of people say that you can't hear because of the noise in the crowd, and that Saint defensive unit just swarms all over you. Conklin. First and ten at the 14. Flag on the play. Brooks broke it momentarily, but penalty markers are down. Stopped by William Frizzell. Conklin has to be, feel pre pretty good about that. He throws an interception. They have a turnover, and then the Eagles come right back, and they have a, a turnover. defense lined up in the neutral zone the penalty is declined the result of the play is second down and short that again is Millard as John Madden was saying before he takes as much as he can get and Bostic being the veteran that he is after he puts the ball down he reaches out with it that's what he's doing to him that's exactly what, what Bostic's doing to Millard he knows that Millard is up there then he comes up and he moves the ball forward I, th I think Keith Millard is lining up all right and then I think Bostic is putting him in the neutral zone you see it's just before that because he takes the ball and puts it up just before he snaps it. First down, Redskins by Brooks. As he looks a little more confident now. You see that move the right there? Yeah. See now that put him in the neutral zone. Yeah. He moved it twice on him. That's Brooks again. Dancing over the right side, outside the 30. Picked up short yardage, three or four. Stopped by Byron Evans. Yeah, that's where the Redskin defense really did a good job on that last series because Conklin had the interception, the turnover to Miano, the Redskin defense comes in, boom, they stop him, force him to punt. So, so you know, turnovers are bad, but if the other team doesn't score as a result of it, you kind of get off the hook a little. Second and five. Sanders and Monk slip wide left. It looks like he might be changing the play. And the man open is McGee. And McGee gets it deep into Eagle territory. That, I believe, was an audible. And I'll tell you, it was a heck of an audible because he looks out there and, and he sees McGee out here. And somehow he must know that this is man coverage because he's going to throw the up out there. Now, I'm not exactly sure why he does it, but it's a broken coverage. And how he knew they were going to break that coverage, I have no idea because 
the coverage was broken and the rotation came after the audible but the audible was perfect for the mistake that the Eagle defense made. He saw something because Frizzell and McMillan both were up short. Now whatever he sees he doesn't like so Conklin calls a timeout and heads for the sideline. It would appear truck designers have never enjoyed spending much time on the seats. And it seems neither have truck owners. That's about to change. Inside your smooth running engine is a torture chamber. And under these grueling conditions, only one leading motor oil in every grade meets the world's toughest requirements for viscosity breakdown. Castrol. Castrol provides maximum protection against viscosity and thermal breakdown. So use Castrol. Why make things tougher on your engine? Castrol GTX. Engineered for today's smaller cars. Try Castrol Super Clean for tough, greasy jobs. If it won't come clean with Super Clean, it won't come clean. If you have questions about hearing loss, discover the answers in this booklet, Straight Talk About Hearing Loss. The booklet is yours free by calling now. It answers many of your questions, including what is nerve deafness, how can I find out if a hearing instrument can help me, and how can I help a loved one realize that they may have a hearing loss. You'll find the answers to these plus much more when you call 1-800-435-8400. That's 1-800-435-8400. Before you take another full-size pickup out for a spin, remember, not one of them offers four-wheel anti-lock brakes. That's about to change. Sean Connery, Alec Baldwin, Sam Neill, James Earl Jones in the box office hit that begins a whole new season of movie excitement, The Hunt for Red October, tonight. Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. The Eagles leading the Redskins 3-0. John and I, as Pete Fountain mentioned a minute ago, will be in New Orleans. Those are the early games. Packers at Minnesota, Rams, Houston, Tampa Bay at Chicago, and Phoenix at Detroit. We're in Philadelphia. First and ten Redskins at the Eagle 34. McGee fakes motion. Conklin again. Looks like he might be changing the play. The hitch pass to Sanders and the Eagles knock it down. Hey, Byron Evans knocked Conklin down too. Byron Evans got there about the same time time Conklin did. I don't know exactly what he sees, but watch Evans boom right up the middle just as Conklin is getting ready to throw that thing. Whap, he comes up and unloads on him, turns him sideways. The Flores knocked it down. You see, Conklin's given signals, and Evans is given signals and watching. And watch 56. He hits that hole perfectly. Brooks doesn't even touch him. Conklin back to throw it again. From Monk trying to make an adjustment while the ball is on the way. Wes Hopkins back there to knock it down. Monk was looking inside, turned back to the outside. And the fans love Wes Hopkins. Wes Hopkins was a regular here, and then there was a big thing about signing him. He went to another team. He was waived. He came back. He didn't start. He's starting today, and I'll tell you, he is a crowd favorite here in Philadelphia. Always has been. He and Andre Water. Third and ten. The Eagles are showing blitz, and here they come. He had the perfect play call. Florida screen pass to Biner. First down, Redskin. You know, they showed it. The, the Redskins were really expecting it. When we talked to Kerry Conklin last night, he was saying that, that he expects to get blitzed. Now, here's going to be the screen. There's only one man back. He stops there. You let the rush come. Then you just throw it out there to him. You see now he's going to get the big blitz. He gets the blitz. He feels it. You let the blitzer get by. Now if we can stop it now. You can see that all the defense is behind him. You get the ball out here and you're going to get the first down. You let all those rushers come. You invite them to you and then you just dump the ball out to your back who gets the first down. One of the Eagles down on the play. After that screen pass and first down for the Redskins. 
Last year, over a million new full-size pickups went out on the road. Not one carried one of these. That's about to change. entrepreneurship is a is a way of life here. MCI understands that this is a two-way street. The businesses in the community band together through the chamber with proof positive you save money. You always get MCI's best price. MCI always does what's right for you. It's helped us grow small businesses into large businesses. It's not just one business out there, it's the whole community trying to make Sioux City a better place to live. Drivers of full-size pickups pretty much know what they're in for. That's about to change. A policewoman and her father become targets of a serial killer. He came after my son. Charles Bronson, Dana Delaney, Donato, and Daughter Tuesday contain some violent scenes. 94 is Leonard Renfro, the injured, injured eagle on that last play. He's out. And limping to the bench. Redskins first down at the Eagle 21. Again, the Eagles show blitz. This is Brooks to the 20. Picked up a couple. Clyde Simmons wrapped you know, around the, his feet. Excuse the me. defensive coordinator of the Philadelphia Eagles is Bud Carson, who's been one of the top defensive coordinators in this league seems like forever I remember back in the days of Pittsburgh Steelers when he was a defensive coordinator then with the Rams and here with the Eagles and one thing about but he'll mix those defenses up keep mixing them up and if he finds something you can't block he'll give it to you all day you get another dose and another dose until you do block it another blitz Conklin going deep to the corner McGee just missed him. I tell you, Conklin seems to be handling things pretty well. On that play, he got knocked down by Mike Flores just as he threw the ball. But I think Conklin has pretty good poise. He's aware. He's seeing things. He's audibleizing. And the Eagles are really giving him the ultimate test. I mean, they're changing defenses every time. They're changing people. They're they're blitzing, blitzing corners, safeties, linebackers. They're throwing the whole defensive package at him. 97, Tim Harris, speaking of the whole defensive package. He's got a bad elbow, but he's coming on a rush, and he got close to Conklin. That's Biner, however. Bouncing close to a first down. And the Eagle defense is really giving Conklin, or Conklin is taking advantage of it, but he's getting confidence. You can just see. The way he throws, the way he carries himself, now he knows he can get a little protection and throw the ball and get it out there. You can just feel Kerry Conklin getting confidence in this game on this drive. He seemed very calm and collected last night when we talked to him. Very sure of himself, very comfortable with the system. The one thing that he didn't know and his coaches didn't know is, you know, how's he going to do in the game? Right. McGee touchdown. Tim McGee. He's a guy who felt he hadn't been involved in enough of the offensive schemes, but now he is. And Richie Pettibone told us last night that Reggie Brooks was going to be the runner and he wanted to get the ball more to Tim McGee. Here he does. That's a corner pattern. McGee runs to the inside. Again, that's the second play that the Eagles have really dropped their coverage on. You run to the inside like you're going to the post. They bite to the inside, and then boom, you go right back to the corner. Islers will hold. New holder. Second 
seven three Redskins lead it nine sixteen left to play in the first half Washington up by four points touchdown McGee. A look behind the scenes as sports and science converge. Brought to you by AT&T. Rock climbing is a booming recreational sport thanks to the recent development of large indoor climbing walls. These walls feature a wide variety of handholds with many slopes and ledges. Professional climbers are able to train and compete year-round and practice difficult maneuvers, while amateurs can learn the ropes. It's an excellent full-body workout. Our nearest competitor is twice as likely to have a network outage. But with AT&T 800 service, our unique backup systems keep sales coming in, so you won't be left in the dark. One of the 800 reasons to choose AT&T 800 service, the best in the business. Anyone can see that the new GE Profile Radiant Convection Range is easy to clean, but the real technological advantage is what you can't see. So we'll show it to you in a roundabout way. Introducing the first GE range that circulates hot air all around your food. Roasting meats up to 30% faster, so they get done to a turn on the outside, while staying tender and juicy on the inside. Why does GE offer such an ingenious way to cook? Because we know how much of life revolves around dinner. The secret to a strong finish is endurance. New high endurance. Just watch how a day's worth of our deodorant outlasts the leading stick even after 24 hours. For the longest lasting, the best deodorant stick, demand proof. Get new high endurance from Old Spice. There's Tim McGee, and here's a pattern he runs. You see him here. Here's Mark McMillan. He's going to come up and go like he's going to the post, and then he's going to go back to the corner. That's called a corner route or a post corner. But you watch, when he comes in and he fakes right there into the post, we can stop it right there. You can see that McMillan fell down when he gave him that post move. Low Miller's kick deep into the end zone. Down by Seidner. Leonard Renfro, the injured eagle a few moments ago, has a bad back, bruised back. Should be, should be able to be back in the lineup very shortly. Here's how he got hurt. Just landed on his back. Don't forget he weighs 300 pounds and that's a lot landing on the back. But he has a big back to land on. <laughs> Whistle as the play gets underway. You know, it's funny in this game, the, the Eagles, you know, talked about wanting to, to, to get ahead. You know, wanting to keep Washington in long yardage situations, make the Redskins play uphill. The Redskins didn't want to do that, and they've been able to stay out of that. They've been able to stay out of long yardage situations. They've been Nine, successful 11, in picking up third off. downs, and now they have the lead. Washington has the edge in total offense 137 yards the Redskins have picked up 72 for Philadelphia first and 15 Hebron is back in the backfield for the Eagles Cunningham for Herschel Walker first down Walker out of the backfield doing really Handling a role that he had when he was way back in Dallas when he was doing everything. And Cunningham, Minnesota. Cunningham it just sees him. He sees Kurt Govey on him, 54, and he just lobs it in there. He wasn't throwing it as much to Herschel as he was throwing it over Govea's head. You see, he's watching all the way. He sees Govea. He knows that Herschel can get behind him, and he just lobs it, just lobs it right over number 54 and right into Herschel Walker's hands. Because he knew once Herschel Walker got by Kurt Govea that there was going to be an opening there before he got to the safety. That's Monty Coleman, number 51, the veteran Redskin linebacker. And that's a tough situation because Monty Coleman was playing for the injured Andre Collins. You can 
you see right there, Mark Bavaro was on the ground, and as he was going down, he just cut Monty Coleman. I don't even think Monty Coleman saw Mark Bavaro down there. Just tripped over him. Handoff is to Heath Sherman. The ball might be loose. Redskins are certainly saying they've got it. A lot of enthusiasm. You see Govea there, <laughs> 54. He was on his back. He doesn't see anything. He's just pointing, but he was pointing in the right way, and he was right. Redskin ball. Yeah, Richie Pettibone is the head coach of this Washington Redskin team, but he is also still the defensive coordinator. And I'll tell you, he always gets his guys in the right place. That ball was just knocked out of there before he ever went down. We asked him last night what he said to the offense. He said, I tell him to play hard and have fun. Yeah, and, and Govea is explaining to him how he recovered. He, he recovered that ball with his feet. That ball, he had that ball between his ankles. First down, Washington at the Eagle 34. Hoglund going to work quick. Has Ricky Sanders wide open. Touchdown, Washington. They brought a guy in here who never started an NFL game in his life. He's starting his first one today, and he is taking over this game, and the Eagles are giving him a heck of a lot of confidence. Roger, we'll just watch Sanders is just going to come across the field. We see it starts off with a little play fake, the counter tray. We can stop it right here. We see that that holds everything here. That play action holds everything. Here's Sanders here. See, he was able to come across the field, get in behind him. Conklin sees it, holds him, throws a perfect pass in there to Ricky Sanders. Everyone up front was held so Sanders could get in behind him. Low Miller's extra point is good, so it's 14 to 3. Boy, you're right, that play fake is what really opened up the middle of the field. Uh, and it was that counter tray, you know, yep. the one where they pull the guard and tackle and the Redskins run that so much that the minute you see that, everyone wants to hit it. See, if we look at the at the, at the play action fake, and, and you see once this front group sees this, they're all going to start move. See, you give them a little motion, they get a little adjustment. Now you watch the guard pull to the left and the back go in there. That held everyone. Because they see the pull, they see the fake to the running back, they all jump on it, and Sanders just sneaks in behind them. Well, they've been looking at that play so long. The Redskins run it better, perhaps, than anyone else. Going back to John Riggins, it's something you just have to respect if you're on defense. Ricky Sanders explaining his move, and all his move was that he just ran across the field. Richie Pettibone is looking at that thing. Now, he has every defense there that he could possibly have. Now, he has two sheets of it. Whoa. Now, now Larry Pecatello is upside, and he has the same thing. See, now, when you get it tangled up, you got some problems with it. <laughs> Looks like a kite or something. <laughs> I'll tell you, I don't know who dresses him now. I mean, does he put all that stuff on himself, or do you think he needs some help doing all that? Whoever it is is a very good friend. <laughs> Low Miller's kick to Seidner deep into the end zone where the Eagles down it again. But the one thing I think that, you know, we talk about Bud Carson and the things that they've done, Richie Pettibone. On the other side, it makes great adjustments. We're talking about number of defenses he had, and he said, you know, he said, I can't even count the number of defenses we have. And he says, we have so many different defenses. He said, we don't even have time to practice them all. But he, he really mixes them up. I haven't figured out how you call them if you can't practice them. I don't, I, I haven't figured out how you call them when your court gets tangled up. There's holding your plays. Calvin Williams off to the races from Cunningham. 80 yards, no flags, and the Eagles bite right back. That's the way to answer him. We're talking about adjustments. That wasn't a good Redskin defensive adjustment. This is the longest 
best pass reception of Calvin Williams' career. You see, it was just man-to-man -man on A.J. Johnson. He got away from Johnson. The safety was up, and he just outran everyone. Bar for the extra point. And it's 14-10. Things happen in a hurry. Cunningham is 7 out of 11. That one touchdown to Calvin Williams and 150 yards. Told you it was a good day in Philadelphia. Well, they start off there, and you start off with the crabs and the the clams, and you got the seafood, and then you got the the chicken, and you got the meat, and, and got then the flowers. I don't know. At an Eagle Redskin game, you can bring the whole kitchen, but never bring flowers. At if you're going to bring, bring, the huh? at bring least. something like this, a whole big old pig. Look at that, the whole thing on his head. You got to chop this part off. I don't think you eat that part. You just eat this part. Holy moly, someone brought a whole pig. I think that pig's too big for the grill. <laughs> oh, that's something. That was quick striking, though, too. I mean, we went right from a 80-yard touchdown reception by Calvin Williams to a whole pig in the parking lot. He looked done. <laughs> he was ready to eat. Bars kickoff is high, but this one has room for a return by Desmond Howard. Down in a hurry. The Eagles coverage led by Seidner. Jeff Seidner got so excited he darn near hurt himself. Did you see him? Yeah, he's still excited. He's one of the good special teams players. He's just a little guy, but he's one of those guys that is always one of the first guys down there. And once he gets down there, he makes a pretty good tackle. Looked like Desmond Howard was going down, but Seidner just gave everything he had to get him. First and ten Redskins at their own 13, and the crowd has gotten very loud. We got a football game here. Brooks outside for a couple and a flag on the play. That was thrown right in the area where they usually call offensive holding. It was funny, they ran the play that they had faked earlier on the touchdown to Ricky Sanders. Eric penalties. Allen made the stop. The penalties against the Still Eagles. The hands in the face. Number 74 defense. That's a first down. Gerald Nichols is number 74. Used to be you could slap him beside the head. You could do anything. Now the hands to the head on either side of the ball is a violation. Yeah, the things you used to do to the head as a defensive lineman, you have to do to the shoulder pads now. You used to hit him in the head to get his head turned, and that would turn his body. Now you have to hit him on the on, on his shoulders to get his body turned. Yep. The referee is a nice guy. He turns off the umpire's microphone. That's how you tell if you got a good friend. That guy's almost hooked up. The umpire's almost hooked up as much as Richie Pettibone. <laughs> Tom White. The illegal use of the hands to the face, number 74. The penalty, seeing how it's a running play, should be in from the end of the run. Therefore, we will move it down the field, proper distance, first down. It's, you got to take a commercial. Well, what he was saying is, is, is it doesn't go back to the original if it were a pass. It would go back to the original line of scrimmage and incomplete pass, but since it's a running play, it goes to the end of the run. Added to the end, right. Byron Evans giving signals to the rest of the defenders. Conklin gives to Brooks. Brooks spins outside the 30, almost to the 30-yard line. You know, when we were talking to Richie Pettibone last night, I think if there was any offensive player that he was really excited about, it was Reggie Brooks. You know, and, and he thought that, you know, that they have had the big guys, they've had the rigs, they've had the riggins, the big, powerful guys at running back, but they've never had that guy with the quickness that could 
take something like this and instead of making five or six yards, maybe come out of that pile and boom, you know, get a home run out of it. There he is again. Cut down by Wes Hopkins. I'll tell you one thing they, they do on this level a little better than doing college is tackle and when you get a, a guy like Wes Hopkins he's one of the, the best tackling safeties in football he's one of the best tackling safeties I think that ever played and remember when they used to have Hopkins and Andre Waters back there they were darn near like two extra linebackers in there Waters is out Brian Mitchell has replaced him now. James Jenkins in front of Mitchell. Outside intended for Jim Riggs, who is of the three tight ends, the best pass receiver. He was open. He was wide open, and he had, and that's what Richie Pettibone's thinking, and he had hit that. It was third and short. They had their short yardage package in. They went to fake. Riggs was wide open. There was no one around him. If he could run at all, and he probably couldn't run that far, but he could have ran that thing for a touchdown. There was no one around him. Reggie Roby, and that's via Sikahima. That's why he gave us those sunglasses yesterday, because he wears them during the game. Roby hits another good one. Eric had single for Johnny Thomas down quickly for the Redskins. 53 yard punt by Roby. 14 10 with 539 left to play in the first half. This game is presented by authority of the National Football League. The CBS telecast is intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of CBS, the Philadelphia Eagles, and the National Football League is prohibited. First and ten, Philadelphia at their own 19. Hebron. Two or three. You know, it seems like every time the Eagles and the Redskins play, it's it's a it's a running game. It's a big play game. It's a very physical game. And the fourth thing is it usually goes right down to the end. Remember we did the game here last year in the last play of the game. Mark Rippon threw a pass. Eric Allen came in and knocked it down and the game was over. Always seems like when they play yeah. here that these guys are always going to play competitive close game. I have the feeling we're going to have one like that today. That's Walker in motion. He was for a while. Came to a stop outside Hebron. He is going to be hit short of a first down by about two yards. Carl Banks was the first Redskin there, along with Govea. Hebron draws a crowd. You know, he said he said that anytime he plays, guys were saying preseason, and then you play regular seasons up a notch. He said it could be up a notch. He said, but to me. It's just another guy trying to get me. He said all of this would is I get the ball. He said whether it's a scrimmage or it's a preseason game or a regular season game. He said it's just guys trying to get me. This is an eagle timeout. Talking about Bond Hebron. Last week he said he couldn't believe it in the game down the clutch drive against the Packers. He said he heard you were there. He won't see you. He said even on one play they asked me to block Mr. White. Reggie White. Didn't he call us both Mr. Mr. Mister, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's one of those guys that really enjoys being where he is. Don't forget coming up at the half, Greg and Terry with all the scores and highlights. And an expansion update report on the five cities that are still in the running. Vying for a piece of the NFL pie. Of course, there are some Sensational races going on, but in both leagues, in baseball, the American League, Boston leads the Yankees one nothing, bottom of the first. Toronto, Minnesota, nothing, nothing. We'll keep you up to date on what's happening there. That's the first down measurement. The uh, Yankees won a weird one last didn't night, they, didn't they? Yeah. The umpire, because the Red Sox, some of them at least, thought the game was over. 
But the umpire had called, not the umpire, one of the officials had called a timeout, not the plate umpire, I should say, had called a timeout because a fan ran onto the field. Then they got two more runs and won the game. Third and one. Heath Sherman is the deep back. Walker in front of him. Sherman. Didn't get it. Go fair. Is the first man to hit him. Boy, a play pass would have went well there. The Redskins, and again, Richie, Richie Pettibone does a great job. But you look at this Redskin defense, the whole defense is up there. They got the whole team up there. Had they gone play pass, they would have gotten it. But they are really playing this run hard. They take that corner away, then Govea scrapes off and makes a heck of a tackle. Fiegel. Shane. The undercut. Took an eagle bounce. And it winds up not being that bad as the Redskins will take over with 345 left to play in the first half. You know, and they, the last time the Redskins had the ball on third down, they went for a play pass. They had Riggs wide open. That time the Eagles, had they gone for a play pass, it could have been a touchdown because the Redskins just sold out. They played run all the way on that third and short. So it's first and 10 Washington at their own 28. Kerry Conklin is the quarterback. Griffin will be out a couple more weeks at least. For Monk, incomplete. Deflected at the line of scrimmage. There's Mark Rippon. I was talking with him before the game, and he it was pretty well publicized that he had been on the exercise bike earlier this week, quicker than he expected. In fact, he said to me, I think I overdid it. I got on too quickly, did too much too quickly. You know, he's one of those guys that you know heals quickly, and he says that, and the doctors say that, and the trainers say that, but by the same token, you can't push it. I mean, nature has a place in healing. Second and ten. Brooks breaks out on the draw play momentarily. He looked as if he'd be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. He came out of that. I tell you, there's two things. First of all, Clyde Simmons hits him, and then you're going to see Byron Evans come in and miss him. There's Simmons right there. There's Evans right there, and you're not going to see that happen often. Now, Evans is playing with a cast on his hand, and he has a little tough time wrapping up. But this is a great spin move. Watch 56 Evans. He's reading that thing perfectly. The minute he grabs him, Brooks spins, and he spins right out of that tackle. On third down, Conklin incomplete. He was under pressure. Rich Biano was the defender. A good rush. I'll tell you, Gerald Nichols knocks him down. What 74? He's coming around on a twist straight up the middle. Boom. And he hits him and throws him down just as he throws the ball. And I'll tell you, in those last couple of Conklin passes, they're getting closer and closer to an interception. Again, Sikahima back for Philadelphia. And Reggie Roby. He's had a good day putting. Another good one. Chase is sick of him and backside and inside the 10. Gets it out to about the 19 before he's taken down by Pat Eilers. You know, you know, one thing that you want to do, you talk about a long kick and, you know, and hang time and all that stuff. Now, when he catches the ball, he has to have at least five yards. Now, if we stop it here, he catches it on the 10. Now, the closest guy is 35 on the 35. So that means that he is 15 yards away. Now, when the closest guy is 15 yards away, when you catch the ball, you should have a good return. What you want in your coverage is you want the closest guy to be within five yards of the punt returner when he catches him. That's sort of always been a problem if it's a problem with Ruby. He outkicks the coverage. Here's Cunningham. Deep pass is picked off at the last second by 
Darrell Green, who again made one of those recoveries that only he can make. Yeah, but that wasn't the guy that Darrell Green was throwing to. Darrell Green was covering the other guy. And it was on a crossing pattern, and that is a heck of a play by Darrell Green. If we just watch this, it's going to be a crossing pattern, and you're going to see Darrell Green is down here on the, on the, on the bottom of the picture. Now watch as it starts. If we stop it right here, here's the guy that Cunningham is throwing to. Here's Daryl Green here. Now watch this. Cunningham throws it. Green is covering this guy. He leaves his guy and goes right and makes that pass. So he was covering another guy and made the interception of another receiver. If that makes sense. Does to me. First and ten. Middleton was the move man. Hotland semi roll right pass to McGee who had a first down. Can to come back for the ball. And maybe he got it back and maybe he didn't. Yeah, it takes a little while to work into a system. Of course, McGee is doing a lot of the things that Gary Clark used to do. That's a double move. He had a stop, a go, and then a stop again. And when he stopped, he came back to the ball and almost lost the first down. And we see the pressure here on Conklin, but he's a tough guy. He just steps up and throws it. And again, that was Gerald Nichols who hit him. Nichols has been all over him today. It is a first down. He did get it back, and this is Brooks. And he can't spin away from Clyde Simmons. We're coming up on the two minute warning left for the end of the first half. 14 10 Redskins lead two minutes left first half. By maximizing the ratio of room given to passengers to room given to machine. A new category of vehicle was invented. Later, this same principle leads to cab forward design. The windshield is moved forward for increased visibility and decreased aerodynamic drag. To provide greater lateral stability during high speed cornering, the wheels are moved toward the corners. Presenting the new age of Chrysler's, the Chrysler New Yorker. Chrysler Concord, the Chrysler Town and Country, the Chrysler LHS. Four of the most eloquent expressions ever of form following function. Announcing the biggest advance in Quaker State history, it's Quaker State's new advanced high-tech formula motor oil. Superior protection against wear, superior protection against heat and stress, superior cleaning power. New advanced Quaker State motor oil. It's formulated for today's high-tech engines. And now, announcing the biggest rebate in Quaker State history. Get a $4.20 cashback rebate to try new advanced high-tech formula Quaker State. Two minutes left to play at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. Next week's schedule over at Green Bay at Minnesota, Rams in Houston, Tampa Bay at Chicago, and Phoenix at Detroit. Those are the early games, and we'll be in New Orleans as the 49ers visit those tough New Orleans Saints. They've got some key people injured, but they, st they are still very good. Set down and 10. Redskin ball at their own 48. Complete. You know, Gerald Nichols has been making a, a lot of plays playing inside there. He's been playing in there with Millard and he's been playing in there with Renfro. I don't know exactly what happened to Andy Harmon, but uh, uh, when we were talking to uh, Rich Cotype yesterday, he thought that Andy Harmon was playing as well or better than any of his defensive linemen. He said he was the best penetrator. Played always on the other side of the line of scrimmage. Third down. Hawkeye has the ball knocked out of his hands. His arm had started forward. They'll say it's an incomplete pass. So we 
we'll see Roby again. Clyde Simmons put the heat on Conklin this time. See, Simmons is playing. Usually he plays the right end. That time he came from the left end. He lined up over on Ed Simmons' side. And that, that's what they're doing some with, with Simmons today. They're moving Clyde Simmons. They're moving him from right end to left end and back to left end, back and forth. Roby averaging 50 yards. See the him back deep again. This one might be out of the stadium. Eiler is down to cover Roby's kick. What a kick by Roby. 52 yards, but it went higher than the third deck. Well, that's what they said. You know, last time his first kick is a redskin. He punted the ball on the first punt, boom, then ran it all the way back for a touchdown. They said the hang time and all that stuff, but I'll tell you one thing. I always say, I remember years ago when I had Ray Guy, I, I used to have a guy, you kick it as high, as hard, as far as you can, and if they can't cover it, I'll get new guys that can cover it. You don't find many guys who can kick it like that. Now, I used to tell my quarterback, you can't throw it too hard. Throw it as hard as you can up the field. If they can't catch it, I'll get new guys. A minute 40 left to play in the first half as Cunningham gets the Herschel Walker. Walker first down, Philadelphia. You know, Herschel Walker, as an eagle, has been quietly effective. You know, they, they, they have him doing a lot of things. They're going with no huddle now, but he plays running back, H back, blocker, receiver, everything. Almost picked off by Monty Coleman. He had a shot. And that's the area that Monty Coleman plays the best. You know, remember all those years he was like a nickel linebacker. He didn't play rundowns. He's still limping from that chop he got from Mark Bavaro earlier. But that's the best thing that he does, cover and play pass defense well in the backfield in space. Four wide receiver. Barnett wide left. Bailey was the man in motion. Fred Barnett lunges for close to a first down and he got it. Again, the Eagles are going with no huddle. Everything has to be checked with me. Everything has to be audible. Cunningham quickly. Down goes Randall Cunningham. Al Noga. Off-season acquisition made the sack on Randall Cunningham. Well, that's Al Noga's first sack. I mean, he's a guy that came over from Minnesota. They expected a lot of him and really he hasn't gotten into the swing of things he's normally a left end he's playing right end now and as he said the other day he said I haven't made any plays and he said I'm just learning the system I just work here and all I have to do is get a sack and then I'll have one and he got one Philadelphia timeout this is so they have one left although we have uh, A difference of opinion. Well, again, what they're what they're thinking here with the Eagles is is that they have to get a a couple of first downs, and you don't think of scoring a touchdown here. What you think of is just getting in position to, to try a field goal. Then you get that position, then you go for the score. There is one Eagle timeout remaining. Redskins have two. Second and 15. Washington leading 14-10. Cunningham faced the draw play, fakes it. Throw to Walker. Finally comes open and hits Victor Bailey. And he gets out of bounds and that'll stop the clock after a first down pickup. That was excellent pass protection because you said the word fake three times. And anytime a quarterback has that long, again, he, he has mobility, which we know that Randall Cunningham does, but he also has good time because he was able to fake a run to one guy, fake to the other. He was trying to go deep to the left side, and he came off all of that and threw to Victor Bailey on the right side. 39 seconds left in the first half. Cunningham back to throw it again. Under 
pressure again. Throw it away this time. Used up six seconds. Carl Banks put the heat on Cunningham. And Cunningham really handles pressure well. I mean, he's had a, a lot. He's been sacked one time. He's been hurried ten times, knocked down three times, hasn't had any batted balls. That's because he moves so well and finds his own lane, and he has thrown one interception. But he's the guy, the way he moves, he can handle pass rush pressure. Second and ten. The Redskin 47. Cunningham quickly outside. Barnett, the intended receiver. I don't think Cunningham ever really got the ball comfortably in his hand. No, and he tried to throw that one quickly. When you're in a shotgun, you really don't have the steps. You just throw it all arm to get it out there. But I think that they better think of getting the ball up to the 30. They need about 10 more yards passing than they threw that one. Third down, 10. Now Matt Barr can't reach it from here. No, they need a first down. They got to think in terms of just getting a first down now. Cunningham going for the bunch. Got a man open. It's Bailey. And out of the pack with the football comes Daryl Green, I believe. Hey, Daryl Green is amazing. He's been all over the field. I mean, they throw it to one guy. Daryl Green intercepts it. We talk about being a cover guy. Daryl Green's a, a great cover guy. You talk about when the ball's in the air, being able to make up speed. Daryl Green is a guy that can do that. You see, Bailey was about three steps behind him. Now, the normal corner, you can throw that ball to Bailey and there'll be a touchdown. But you have Daryl Green involved, there's Whoa. no way. Look he, where he came from. I know. I mean, he can not only get there, not only catch up, but when he gets there, he has good hands to make the catch. This guy is one amazing athlete. He said to me before the game, I'd like you to say hello to my son. I'm doing that. I respect his performance that much. Yeah, we were talking yesterday to Randall Cunningham. He says there's one guy I always want to know where he is, and that's Daryl Green. And Randall Cunningham didn't do a good job of knowing where he was all the time this first half. And that's the end of the first half with the score. The Redskins 14, the Eagles 10. CBS Sports coverage of the National Football League is sponsored by the new Dodge, a division of the Chrysler Corporation. GE Appliances, we bring good things to life. Old Spice High Endurance for long-lasting odor protection, demand proof, get Old Spice. And by Quaker State Motor Oil, it's formulated for today's high-tech engines. I'm Harold Carmichael, formerly of the Philadelphia Eagles. Back in the 1980s, you might remember me pulling in a touchdown pass from my team or in one of those United Way Great Moment TV spots. And I still recall a lot of those great moments, not only on the field, but also the great moments the United Way makes possible in the lives of people. Perhaps you remember in 1971 when a little girl named Julie Barty heard sound for the first time at the United Way Hearing and Speech Center. For 20 years, the NFL players have shown you how the United Way makes a difference in all our lives. In 1985, we saw that same Julie as a beautiful young lady and track star who was also a United Way volunteer teaching other children with severe hearing loss to learn to communicate. Now today, Julie is married and she's here with me and her husband, Rick. There's a whole new world that has opened before her, thanks to you. Now more than ever, United Way, helping where help is needed most. I love you. This message furnished by the National Football League. Trucks are a spiritual thing to me. Something you can depend on. It's just like, you know, my best friend, I guess you might say. Out on the ranch is where I'm at, and that's where I want the truck to work for me. I need a truck that's rough like I am. Introducing the all-new Mazda truck with a 4-liter V6 and a soul to match. The new Mazda truck. Saddle up and let's go dancing. Mazda. It just feels right. A lot of airlines fly to Europe, but only TWA gives you room to stretch out and relax to Europe's most exciting cities. TWA replaced Coach with Comfort Class to give you the most legroom of any airline to Europe at no extra cost. We're even adding footrests, so you'll not only enjoy Europe, 
you'll enjoy the flight. What if someone were to design a car about the size of a Ford Taurus outside, but with more room for people than Taurus or Toyota Camry inside? Someone did. What if someone were to design a car with safety features Taurus and Camry don't give you, like both driver and passenger side airbags standard, or an available integrated child safety seat? Someone did. And what if a prestigious magazine were to name this car Automobile of the Year? One of them did. Dodge Intrepid. This changes everything. The Lion NFL Today Dockers Halftime Report is sponsored by new Loose Fit Dockers. Nobody does pants like Dockers. And nobody does highlights like we do. Welcome back to New York, everyone. He's Terry Bradshaw. I'm Greg Gumbel. Those of you who have been watching the Redskins and the Eagles, 14-10 Washington leads it. Kerry Conklin, 160 yards, a couple of touchdowns, an interception. But how's Randall doing? Randall Cunningham has not had a bad game this year. And it, their running game picked up from where it was last year. He has more time to throw the football. Doesn't have to take all the take, – it's taken a lot of pressure off him. And in this game, he's like 10 for 19, 185 yards. Had a couple of picks, but he's got the one, the one touchdown. But he just plays differently. He he looks differently, Greg, going around playing with a lot of confidence. 80-yard touchdown pass helps the numbers, doesn't it? 80-yard <laughs> touchdown pass, man, is like Santa Claus. Let's run down the rest of the scores for you. At the Meadowlands, the New York Giants have gone to the third quarter, leading the Rams 13-3. Phil Simms, lots of time here, finds Chris Calloway, 16-yard gain to the Rams' 17-yard line, and then Rodney Hampton took it in. Rodney's got 101 yards already today. Not bad. Well, Rodney Hampton is one of those new rich running backs that Emmett Smith was wanting money <laughs> saying I need more money than this guy. Here's one of Phil Simms' four sacks in the first half. You know, it's just so hard to hold the ball that long down in that area, 10 yards going in because of tight man coverage. And here's another one, Phil Simms getting sacked by number 90, Sean Gilbert. Jumbo Allen at left tackle, another wealthy young man in the National Football League. In the first half, he has given up two sacks. Tony's in Dejas with a 52-yard field goal, the only score of the day for the Rams at 17-3 Giants. At the Superdome in New Orleans, they've gone to the third quarter with the Saints leading the Lions by a score of 7-3. And Wade Wilson steps up here, hit by, uh, or forced to step up by Pat Swilling, and is sacked by Tracy Scroggins, and then Barry Sanders takes off. 68 yards in the first half, and this is what he does so well. He runs between the tackles, as as well as anyone of the Saints were one of the defensive units that felt like they could contain him, keep him inside the ends, they could slow him down. Now that New Orleans defense gets to Rodney Pete, Ricky Jackson gets to Pete here, and the Lions have to settle for a field goal, and back comes Wade Wilson. Wade Wilson, hot, 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 one of the hottest, hotter than Tabasco made in Louisiana. Finds Hobie Brenner for 17, you like that? I love it. 7-3 <laughs> New Orleans leads it as they go to the third quarter. Also in the third quarter, Steelers leading the Bengals 17-7, two touchdown passes so far for Neil O'Donnell today. Third quarter at Foxborough, Rick Myers first half touchdown pass to Brian Blades, the only score of the game. The Seahawks lead the Patriots 7 to nothing. Major League Baseball, those of you wondering Wondering how the Phillies are doing, Dave Hollins, two-run homer, has pulled the Phillies even with the Expos. Phillies started today five games on top of Montreal in the National League East. In the American League East, Toronto, the leader by three games over the Yankees, leading the Twins one to nothing in the first inning. The Yankees trail the Boston Red Sox at Yankee Stadium that game in the fourth inning, two to one, the Red Sox in the lead. This week in Chicago, the five remaining cities still in the running to acquire a coveted NFL franchise will make their final presentations. Two expansion franchises will be awarded, and here's how the cities stack up. It may be hush-hush, but Sweet Charlotte is a favorite. As part of its ruse, Charlotte has spun a web of impressive support. A proposal for a brand new stadium and a virgin market suggest that no franchise could be finer than to be in the heart of Carolina. We want to try to create as many opportunities for people in the Carolinas to enjoy NFL football as we can. I think it makes a big statement, a, a, a tremendous statement, that we want a team and we're going to get a team. Baltimore already had a team, but a decade's absence has made the fans' hearts grow fonder. Civic leaders have rallied for a bright new day to replace the midnight move of the Colts, and the state of Maryland is willing to finance a new downtown stadium. We are a strong market, a strong economic market, a market that has demonstrated its support for the NFL and is ready to do that again. A second timer is St. Louis. Hall of Famer Walter Payton is part of the potential ownership group. And if that's not sweet enough for the NFL, there's nothing bush about a new dome stadium that should make a few eyebrows arch. We want 
be able to show them the progress that's being made firsthand here on our stadium and, and through models just exactly uh, what this stadium is going to mean to the National Football League. Jacksonville was once out of the running, but their hurry-up offense includes a Hail Mary plan to refurbish the Gator Bowl. Memphis has been showboating with all the volunteer good cheer it can muster, but it will take more than that for an NFL franchise to occupy the Liberty Bowl. Jerry Clinton of the St. Louis Group told us that the recent flood hurt sales of premium seats, but several companies have come up with $1.4 million now to cover the cost of those 750 seats. That does it for halftime. He's Terry. I'm Greg. NFL continues on CBS after this from your local station. You took a funny thing. Talk about poor health care, nothing poor about the medical labs that have gotten rich swindling the public. 60 Minutes, brand new season, brand new stories, tonight. You think you've seen some good fights? Maybe you should go home to your kid and leave the reporting to those of us who can deal with it. Just you wait. The Murphy Brown season premiere. Then Annie Potts is back on Monday night. You call us fresh? Their eyes are cloudy, the gills are cut out. Wear the little medic alert bracelet. Love and war after Murphy Brown Monday. This is CB. Yes. Number one in America. Time is running out on Ford's factory authorized clearance. Save up to $2,900 with a double bonus discount on Ford Aerostar. Save $1,300 on the number one selling Ford F-150. Or save $1,900 on the hot looking Ford Ranger. Five of the top ten sellers. See your Quality Plus Ford dealer and get your best clearance deal today. Number one in America. Hurry, Ford's factory authorized clearance ends soon. Now, getting gasoline at the Big Red O is as easy as one, two, three. Just drive into a mobile pay at the pump station. Use your ATM or credit card. It doesn't cost you any more. Then, pump away. Take your receipt and drive away. Pay at the pump at Mobile. It's the fastest way to drive your engine clean. It's often taken for granted, yet it's as precious as the very air we breathe. It's called freedom. And it's what inspired Independence Blue Cross and Pennsylvania Blue Shield to create the new personal choice, a health plan that offers people the low costs of an HMO without asking them to give up what they value most, their freedom. Personal choice. The health plan that controls costs, not people. Work at home scams. Herb Denenberg reports Monday at 5 and 11. Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. Halftime where the Washington Redskins lead the Philadelphia Eagles by the score of 14 to 10. There's a new kind of dockers, new loose fit dockers. Maybe you've seen them downtown at the office, at one of the better seaside resorts, or maybe over the backgammon table. Fact is, Almost anywhere a guy wants to look sharp and still feel comfortable is where you'll find new loose-fit dockers. Which only makes sense, because nobody does pants like dockers. Faye Dunaway just wanted some bookshelves installed. What she got was Robert Urich. You got no stud on this wall. But do I need a stud? It had to be you. Preview tonight after 60 Minutes. Last year, it was the ultimate prank. Monday, the guys get even. I am luck out dressed like a casino. The premiere of Evening Shade. My linguine is starting to chafe. Then, Harry Anderson stars in the exciting premiere of Dave's World. Dad? Yeah? Where do babies come from? Dad? Two big premieres, Evening Shade and Dave's World, Monday. CBS Sports coverage of the National Football League is sponsored by Toyota and their full line of quality cars and trucks. Toyota, I love what you do for me. AT&T, we help put your world within reach. Citibank, MasterCard, and Visa. Make sure your card say Citibank. And by Xerox, the document company. A top veteran stadium in Philadelphia. Washington 14, Philadelphia 10. Halftime statistics, John Madden, pretty even, except for turnovers. 
And I think as we look at the stats, I think we've really had a, a pretty even first half. And like we said during the first half, when these two teams play each other, it just seems like this NFC East that anytime you get this type of game and these types of teams, it's going to go down to the fourth quarter and more than likely the end of the fourth quarter. They know each other so well. Washington 14. Philadelphia 10 Pat Summerall with John Madden as we get ready to start the second half. Pat Eilers is number 24. Excellent special teams player. Chip Low Miller to kick off. Bright and sunshiny day. Sakahima and Jeff Seidner back deep for the Eagles. So we get set for the second half. Low Miller. Short kick, Seidner handles. The scramble underneath. Redskins again say they've got it. And they're right. They do have it. Seidner's trying to say that he was down, but it looks like just as he gets hit, Right there, he runs in half to a Redskin, half to his own guy. He wasn't down. That no. ball was knocked out of there before he went down, and then he couldn't get to it. James Jenkins is the man who hit him. First down, Washington. That's the fourth Eagle turnover. They will kid you. Yeah, Seidner didn't. He he was trying to get that, but it was a it was a, it was a good play by Jenkins. He made the hit. And then kept kept Seidner from getting back to the ball. Now there's a penalty marker down on the play, John. And I'm not sure exactly if the Redskins have the After ball the or not. The play is over. We have unsportsmanlike conduct. On number 85. Un goals down. Unsportsmanlike conduct on Seidner. Maybe language. Well, yeah, that was that was a a double dip. I mean, he was a guy that was was hit, fumbled, and then he had something to say about it. He got in an argument. We saw him as he was getting up. He was he was arguing about it. I don't know exactly what because he wasn't down. I mean, the ball came out before he went down. He didn't recover it. That's the kind of penalty that will find you new employment. First and ten Redskins at the Eagle 10. Conklin back to throw early. Down to the six is Brian Mitchell. That was one of those things where, where the defensive end had to come off in coverage, and Mitchell just got by Clyde Simmons. Clyde Simmons was a defensive end on that side. Mitchell was running a flat pattern and he just got by Simmons and Conklin threw it out there to him. One thing that doesn't happen too often is a defensive lineman in pass coverage. I think a quarterback looks for that. If you can get your running back on their defensive end, you can get some kind of mismatch. You've got a pretty good, pretty good advantage. Mitchell flying on the play. This is Brooks, I'm sorry. Middleton. Looked as if he might have jumped early. Yeah, and that was one that the whistle blew before the ball was ever snapped. So that play didn't all start at all. Number 88 offense and the right tackle both moving prior to the snap. Five yards, still second down. They're saying these two guys right here, 88 is Jenkins, the right tackle is Ed Simmons. And they're saying that both of them move before the ball snapped in their right. But of course, 88 Jenkins was the biggest mover, and 88 Jenkins was the guy who made that play on that kickoff return that caused the fumble to Seidner. Apologies to Rod Middleton. Conklin to throw it. To McGee to about the two. All right, everybody up here. Knocked out by Ben Smith. I'll take it. I think they they put Ben Smith in there for Mark McMillan because he's a bigger, stronger guy, and probably a stronger tackler. And you know that's a play that they probably thought they could do to McMillan. You know, just throw the ball out there and bully him into the end zone. Ben Smith has been injured for a couple years, was a starting corner, is coming back, and they use him 
in these situations where they need his strength. Mitchell is the lone setback. They need a little bit over a yard. Are saying touchdown. None of the Eagles are saying touchdown. And none of the officials are saying touchdown, which is the one that counts. Those two of the two officials that are on the line are the ones that call it. Again, the, the ball has to break the plane. The ball has to go in the end zone or break the plane of the goal line before the knee is down. I think this is a good call. Well, you have to see when the knee goes down where the ball is. See, it went sideways for a while. At the end, it breaks the plane, but I don't think it breaks the plane before the knee went down. He rolled over, and that's how much they have left. Washington timeout. They lead by four. Why do people really like Toyota Paseo? Take this home lie detector test. I like Paseo because A, it's practical, mm -hmm. has a driver's side airbag, mm -hmm. or B, women dig it. Mm -hmm. A, it has 100 horsepower performance, or B, women dig it. Mm -hmm. A, Paseo starts under $11,800, or B, mm -hmm. women dig it. Paseo, a very practical car from Toyota. Which 800 service keeps sales clicking? Well, if there's a problem, only AT&T guarantees to reroute your calls in less than a second. So you'll never miss a beat. One more reason to choose AT&T 800 service, the best in the business. Well, Citibank Visa provides so many services, you really don't need another card. They were very pleasant. Citibank didn't put me on hold forever, which a lot of companies do do these days. The card's lost. Within 24 hours, I had a new card expressed to me that next day. The fraud protection program really gave me a sense that somebody's looking out for me in my best interest. And for some reason, on the phone, they're always very friendly with me. So maybe it's just my personality. I don't know. Just a few of the many people who rely on the service of not just Visa, Citibank Visa. Americans have always had a love affair with their cars. And when it comes to plugs and filters, we guarantee to keep that spark going for a long, long time. Yeah, who do you love? About the length of the ball for a touchdown for Washington. And the Redskins have four tight ends in there now, Pat. They put Ray Brown near left guard number 67. You see him over here. He plays a tight end. Then they have a tight end on the one side, a tight end on the left side, and number 88 Jenkins, a tight end in the backfield. Hockland, touchdown to Middleton. That was a gutsy call by Richie Pettibone. Fourth down, I think that's a call to make because they're all going to bunch up in there. You know that they're all playing run. The Eagle defense has to sell out on it, but it still takes guts to call it because a rusher can get through. It could be incomplete. You can overthrow him. Gutsy call by Richie Pettibone. Now watch what happens. This play fake is if we can stop it right here. See, it just gets everyone. Everyone comes in here. Here's Middleton all by himself. The extra point is good, and John, you asked Richie Pettibone last night what the difference is between being the assistant and being the head coach, and he said, well, the responsibilities that go with it. There's one of them. Yeah, and I'll tell you, Richie Pettibone, when he was a defensive coordinator, was always one of those guys that wanted to do the unexpected. He never wanted, he didn't let you know what he was doing. He never wanted to let you get a read on him. And as a head coach, I think he's going to be the same way. You look at this, you see all the tight ends up there? And we just watch it here. Now watch it, we stop it here, the effect that it has. You see, the guys you got to get are these two guys. Sell these two guys on the run here, and this guy will be wide open. You see, everyone buys it right now. They all go for the run, and whap, you just throw it over their head for an easy touchdown. It's an easy way to do it, but it's a gutsy way to do it. I'll guarantee you, it's not easy to call a fourth down play pass. Conklin lobbed it to Middleton. Jim Hannafin over in discussion with Ron Middleton. Well, I think Ron Middleton is one of those tight ends that is more like a tackle than a tight end. And you see him there, Jim Hannafin's the offensive line coach. 
Middleton takes a seat right there with the big offensive lineman. I think he acts and reacts like an offensive lineman, blocks like an offensive lineman, looks like an offensive looks lineman, like, weighs like an offensive lineman. The number, that's the only thing. Right, and then when they catch a touchdown pass, they all celebrate together. Low Miller's kickoff, handled by Jeff Seidler about two yards deep into the end zone. Hit down inside the 10 by Eilers. You were talking about Eilers as a good special teams player. I'll tell you, he sure is. I mean, that that is great coverage. And you see him here. He starts out. There was a double team on him. He gets right by the double team. Then there's not another blocker. And he just runs and just has a feel. You know, the good ones just have a feel of weaving their way through there and getting down there where they don't get blocked. The bad ones, they don't want to get down there, and they always find a way to get blocked. Lamont Hollingquist was with Eilers. Cunningham to Walker. Right side for a couple. You know, Carl Banks is playing a steady game really over there is. at that outside linebacker. You know, it's not, he's not a flashy guy. And, uh, you know, he's not the blitzing type linebacker. He's not the guy that's going to make the big hits or be all over, but he's a very solid guy. And he knows how to play the tight end. He knows how to play the combination blocks of the tackle, tight end, on guard, off guard, back, all those combinations. Read them well, play them well, always solid. You don't run laterally when Carl Banks is on the side you're trying to run to. Here's Cunningham quickly. Fred Barnett took the hit from Daryl Green. I don't know where Daryl Green, he looks like a new man. I mean, Daryl Green. You know, when he first came in the league, they thought he was too small. He's been in the league 11 years, and he's playing today like he just got here. I mean, he made in the first half two of the greatest interceptions that I've ever seen, and here he's making a hit. I don't remember Daryl Green ever hitting like this. He's hitting like some fierce linebacker. Oh, wow. They may have to rule him right out of this league. This guy's dangerous out there. And he's been playing a long time. Cunningham on a check with me he takes too much time to check with me. Well, you know they changed that clock. They used to have 45 game, seconds. Offense, five yards, still they, first down. They used to have 45 seconds between plays. Now they have the 40-second clock. And he was trying to audibleize, and he looked up there at the clock, and he just didn't have time. To get the audible end to play in, and that and that five seconds does make it tough to audibleize if you don't get a play in early. First and fifteen. Get Randall back to throw it. Well, maybe not. Cunningham looking to get out of bounds doesn't make that trip successfully and goes down after he picked up about three. Stopped by Daryl Green. I'll tell you one thing that this Redskin defense has done is they have they have taken the aggressiveness. They are the aggressor. And, and in doing so and becoming the aggressor, they've taken the aggression out of the Eagle offense. So the Eagle offense has to get it back because they are not playing aggressively now. Cunningham is not playing aggressively. He's not running aggressively. The aggressive players out there right now are the Washington Redskins. Second and 13. To Heath James Joseph, the receiver this time. Stopped by Danny Copeland. I think someone was saying, hold him up, and then someone was yelling at you. Over there. They were saying, take it, take it. I think one guy had him held up, and, he, and they were waiting for some other guys to just come and take it out of his hand. Get the ball, Zeke Bratkowski. Zeke Bratkowski has taken over as the offensive coordinator. Richie Kotite used to be the offensive coordinator. And I know one thing with Zeke Bratkowski as the offensive coordinator, Randall Cunningham feels much more comfortable. 12 out of 21, Cunningham. Third down, Blitz coming. Cunningham. As he 
started forward there was Carl Banks. Yeah, and the first guy in there was Govea. You know, he's one of those guys, number 54 Govea, who just makes things happen. You know, in fact, Richie Pettibone and the Redskins, you know, they call him a playmaker, and he makes the play on that one. I mean, he was a guy, boom, he gets in there. He disrupted the whole thing before it had a chance to get started. Fiegel's kick is a good one this time. That's Darrell Green. No place to go for the 30. Once in a while, Darrell Green sneaks in and starts returning punts as well as everything else. There I was, buried in forms. There she was from Xerox calling them documents. Documents? What are you talking about, I say? Store all these electronically, she says. All those files, those warehouses, get rid of them. And I see it. Electronic storage. Cutting my cost. I say, yeah, when you're talking about my documents, you're talking about my profits. Exactly, she says. See your documents differently. Call 1-800-ASK-XEROX, the document company. Do you want to fly where there are no runways? Do you want to swing where no one has swung before? Or do you want to surf where there is no ocean? And get yourself a Toyota 4Runner. Because where you're headed, you don't want to be driving anything less. Go ahead, make a wish. Then share it with your Allstate agent, who knows planning makes wishes come true, and who can outline a life insurance plan to assure family security and college funding and a comfy retirement are in the stars for you. So make your wish and trust it to your Allstate agent, who wants to be your agent for life. Know what's beautiful? I'll tell you. Jerry Rice hauling in some touchdowns. Next Sunday, Niners Saints on CBS. I'm a big fan. You know, you can always tell a big game for the Redskins, always over the years, when they put Daryl Green back as a punt returner, in their mind, it's a big game. And watch what this guy does. I mean, this way he can cover so well, and he can make up. I mean, he has moves. Most of the time you think of moves, the offensive guy, the receiver, the running back. Daryl Green as a defensive back has great moves. First and ten, the handoff is to Brooks. And that whole offensive line for the Redskins just caved everything in. Well, you see big Joe Jacoby? Watch him pull. He's going to start on that left side. And, we, and once he brings it over, here's Jacoby here. Now he's going to start. He's going to start over here to the right side. And when Joe Jacoby, one of the strongest players in the league, when he gets it turned up and square like that, once he gets square, things are going to go backwards. I mean, he just goes. He, he's like a he's like a bull in a china closet. He's talking about four eagles. That's it, Brooks again, left side. Mm, very little. Gerald Nichols again on the, on the play for the Eagles. He needed about a foot for a first down, and I don't believe he got quite a foot. You know that Nichols has been playing well. He's, he? he's playing in there for Andy Harmon, who everyone was, you know, thinking was so good. We see Harmon is back in there now. Harmon hurt his Achilles or had an Achilles problem. In fact, he wasn't in the game in the second quarter. In fact, he wasn't even on the field. He came out of the locker room in the third quarter and now he's back on the field again third and inches this time they have the first down the Redskins over the right side outside their own 40 first and 10 well they went away from Gerald Nichols he got the he got the penetration in there but he was on the the defensive right side and they ran to the defensive left side he's one of those guys that knows how to get under. You see, he's not the tallest guy, but he has strong arm and shoulders, and he knows how to get under the offensive lineman's shoulders. 6-2, which for a defensive lineman these days is not very big. Now, the coaches always say, stay low, stay low, stay low. Heck, he was born low. He's built low. First and 10, Washington. Conklin doesn't like what he sees, calls a timeout. The Redskins will have one left. In this half. 
over to check with the head coach Richie Pettibone who was a quarterback in college who would have thought at Tulane and it was a fine defensive back with the Bears and the Rams who would have thought that in there you see right there that's Russ Graham Russ Graham you talk about guys who were fine players remember he was a fine all pro guard with the Washington Redskins he's a coach now a tight end coach he's on the headset with Rod Dauhauer and Dauhauer is the guy up in the press box this is Rod Dauhauer right here he makes the calls he calls the plays sends them down to Russ Grimm the old guard right there old coach Grimm there with the sunglasses and then on that play he just gave it to Conklin or he would signal it in Boy, you asked the Redskins about Russ Grimm and what kind of coach is he and their eyes light up. This guy is going to be a great coach. Yeah, and he's one that you know the players all respect too. Yeah. The players all know and respect because as a player he was a real tough guy. Eagles and it is successful. Brian Mitchell was the ball carrier. Evans and Flores were the first defenders there. You know what happens is they line Flores up. If, if you look, he he just comes right from the outside. Evans comes straight up the middle, and there's Nichols again. again. I mean, that was like a jailbreak. Flores was there, Nichols was there, Byron Evans was there. Hey, that was a good call by Bud Carson. He's mixing up his defense as well, too. Second and 15. Safety blitz by Miano this time. Pass incomplete intended for Sanders. Eric Allen. William Frizzell both thought they had a shot at it. I'll tell you, I think they were so worried about looking and watching the safety blitz that they didn't even see Frizzell. And you'll see Miano, he's going to start coming up from the right side. If we can just see him, he's coming up. You can see his shadow. Now he comes right here. There's Miano coming there. I think that they said, okay, here's the safety here. Now we can throw the ball in there. But Frizzell jumped over where Miano left from. Third down. The draw play to Biner. Ernest Biner. To about the 44 yard line. Not nearly enough for a first down. So we'll see Roby again. He has done a wonderful job putting. You know, this has been a, a great chess match of, of defenses and defensive coordinators and adjustments and all those things they do. They, Ray Brown hurting a bit. You know, Ray Brown is a left guard, and he's also the guy that they moved to tight end on short yardage and goal line. Here's Roby back deep for the Redskins, and Sikahema back standing at about the 10 for the Eagles. Every ball that Ruby has hit the best about that perfect. That's a low snap. Ruby can't get rid of it, and the Eagles will get the ball deep in Redskin territory. Ruby was down. Guy Bingham. The ball bounced back to Ruby, and he couldn't get rid of it. The Eagles take over. Like many aerospace engineers, Frank Stellwagen is a pilot. But few plan to fly to Alaska in a plane they've rebuilt. Having driven various Toyotas he's owned over 212,000 miles, choosing the T-100 was easy. No, he's not your typical big truck owner, but the T-100 is not your typical truck. Motor Trend remarked, overall handling is reminiscent of a sporty passenger car. The Toyota T-100 puts you in a whole new class. It's coming. The worst breath of the day. Morning breath. And ready to meet that sticky, pasty film head on. A whole new feeling of cream. A clean as fresh as snow. Introducing the new cooling formula in Peppermint Scope. Its antibacterial action still kills millions of morning breath bacteria on contact. And compared to that other blue, more people prefer its new cooling formula for leaving their mouths feeling cleaner. Discover a whole new feeling of clean. New Peppermint Scope. Here on the set, when the lights come up and the camera starts to roll, there's no place to hide. And even one flake of dandruff, even one, can ruin it all. That's why I use Head & Shoulders. You know, it's even better than it was just a couple of years ago. 
Today's head and shoulders gets to 10 times more of the places dandruff starts. Put it to the test. Prove it to yourself. Head and shoulders and head and shoulders two in one. Because great hair can't have flakes. Sean Connery, Alec Baldwin, Sam Neill, James Earl Jones in the box office hit that begins a whole new season of movie excitement, The Hunt for Red October, tonight. 5.52 left in the third quarter. Washington 21, Philadelphia 10. The Eagles have it first and 10 at the Redskins 35. And off to Vaughn Hebron. At the line of scrimmage. Cut down by Gautier. How many tackles does he make? He's been all over the place, and I think that's the key to this game, that they've been able to stop the run. The Eagles only have 40 yards rushing. Last week against Green Bay, they had 162. They came in to the game. They were like second in the league, and that was the biggest difference to me in the Eagle team was their being able to run. And so far today, they haven't been able to rush the football. Second and 10. Again, Cunningham under pressure has to throw it away. Way away. And I think that's the thing I was talking about earlier. The offense is not aggressive now. And I think they're not aggressive because they can't run. When you only have 40 yards rushing, then you're not successful there. So then you have to pass. And then their passing isn't working for them. And they just can't seem to, to get anything going. I think that, you know, they have to get to the run, stay with the run, somehow get some running game going. It's almost as if they have no running threat. The Redskin defense has done such a good job with that. Third and ten. This won't be a run. Cunningham back in the shotgun. Unless he runs. Going deep. Incomplete. Intended for Calvin Williams. Pressure on Cunningham by Bobby Wilson this time. Well, you can do it because it's third and long. See, and everyone knows it's a pass, so all the guys get up. They have their stunts going. They have their blitzes going. Govea coming from the outside. They got all their games going. He darn near threw this one. It looked like he was throwing it away, but it was a pretty good play. Brad Edwards makes a good defensive play for the Redskins. The Eagles have to punt. They couldn't take advantage of the turnover. Eagles punt is handled by Otis Smith. Washington takes over deep in their own territory at their own seven. Life. Around every corner, financial questions, choices, surprises. When you need direction, the Principal Financial Group can guide you toward your goals. With flexible insurance, solid investment strategies, Stability you can count on. No wonder people have been coming to the principal for over a century. To secure your future. To get an advantage. Get the principal edge. The principal financial group. If you demand more from an aftershave than that same old alcohol burn. That's right, a brand new aftershave. New sensitive from Old Spice. It's alcohol free because alcohol burns. That's why they took it out and put these new cooling sensates in. For real refreshment to go with that great scent. It's proof aftershave doesn't have to hurt to work. So use new sensitive, or you might get burned. Take the heat out of aftershave. Demand proof. Try new alcohol-free sensitive from Old Spice. I brush my teeth three times a day. So just imagine when the dentist said, Annie, you've got tartar. And he reached for that pick. Doctor, I asked, isn't there an easier way? He said, Annie, use the tougher toothpaste, Tartar Control Crest. Because of Crest's exclusive tartar fighting formula, we're so sure you'll have less tartar in six months, we'll give you a money-back guarantee. So I started using Tartar Control Crest, and my next visit's great. Less tartar in six months guaranteed from Crest, the dentist's choice. Now I don't get picked on so much anymore. Saturday, the pennant chase continues on CBS as the front runners in the National League give us a possible preview of October as the Phillies host the Atlanta Braves. Others will see the Texas Rangers and the White Sox battle for their divisional crown. This all follows Baseball 93 here on CBS. Right now, Football 93 on CBS. Brooks out of the 
bunch. First down. He almost broke it. Boy, did Joe Jacoby block on that one. You know, they say that this guy, they don't know if he could play or last a whole game. Watch him come around. He's the left tackle. He's right here. The ball's going to be that counter tray starting here. But watch big Joe Jacoby come around here and then keep going. I mean, when he comes around there, he comes around with about a 320 pound load. Boom! He just knocks him down there. Now watch him. He'll keep going. He, 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 he goes and gets some more. He's not done yet. He keeps blocking until the whistle blows the way he's supposed to. Yes, again. Lost the ball momentarily. Miano hit him. Middleton came up with it. I'll tell you, Jacoby is playing well out there. Really? You know, he's, I was talking to Matt Millen once, who used to play for the Redskins with Jacoby, and he said he's played, you know, Matt played for the Raiders, he played for the 49ers, he played for the Redskins. He said Joe Jacoby was the strongest man they would ever met in his life. He said his upper body strength was amazing. 6'7 and 315 pounds. And he's not fat. No, and that's like 315 natural pounds. Pass to Monk. Right now for an NFL update, let's send you back to our studios in New York. All right, Pat, at the Meadowlands, Jim Everett, the first touchdown of the day for the Rams, 51 yards to Flipper Anderson, who rolls into the end zone. It's a 20 to 10 lead for the Giants over the Rams in the fourth quarter. Pat and John, back to you. Back at Veterans Stadium, it's 21 10 Redskins over the Eagles. It's third down and about four. the play Simmons might have jumped and that'll be enough for a first down if he did they might be saying that Conklin pulled him off false start false start the quarterback with a hey Bob yep. five yards still third down now watch you, you know the the thing is, his head did bob, and Double then you see, bob. yeah, Flores jumps off sides up here. You just watch, see Flores is up there, and he sees that double head bob. He jumps off sides and gets in the neutral zone. I don't know that he reacted to that head bob, though. I bet he reacted to the call, to the cadence, to the, you know, to the hard count more than that head bob. Third and nine. So blitz momentarily then picked off. Eric Allen stroll in for the Eagle touchdown. And I'll tell you, Clyde Simmons made the big play. That's why Kerry Clunk Conklin is down. Clyde Simmons took an inside move on Joe Jacoby, and he hit Conklin. In fact, he knocked him out just as he throws the ball. Watch, here's Simmons here. He's going to take an inside move right there. Now watch him as he just comes through. He's going to take an inside move. He gives a club to the inside right up there. Made Conklin throw it. Probably couldn't even see Eric Allen. Threw it when he didn't want to. His head bounced off the artificial turf. And he was just dizzy momentarily. He didn't see Eric Allen dancing to the end zone. Matt Barr's extra point is good. And the Eagles close it. It's 21-17 with 2.34 left third quarter. Credit line has nothing to do with your value as a person, okay? Sure, Gold MasterCard has a credit line of at least $5,000, but that doesn't make you a better person. Well, I don't know. Maybe it does. I mean, if knowing that no gold card is more accepted on the planet lets you relax and just have fun, then yeah, I suppose it could have some effect. And you can use your gold MasterCard at cash machines all over the world, so you can get money in drachmas or lira or seashells, so you can tip generously. Which any waiter will tell you is the true measure of how good a person you are. Gold MasterCard. It's more than a gold card. It's smart money. Greetings and salutations. Welcome to the emergency line of the San Angeles Police Department. In the 21st century, violence is a thing of the past. But I wouldn't give for some action. Buckle up. But the future... I'm gonna love running this place. ...isn't what it used to be. It's a brave new world. Sorry, you gotta go. 
Sylvester Stallone, Wesley Snipes, Demolition Man, rated R. Starts Friday, October 8th. Faye Dunaway just wanted some bookshelves installed. What she got was Robert Urich. You got no stud in this wall. But do I need a stud? It had to be you. Preview tonight after 60 Minutes. Watch the defense flow towards us. Now, when that happens, they're going to pursue to the onside. But look at this cutback. Look at here. This cutback lane. They all flow in here, and boy, do they give you that cutback over there. Somebody withdrew something from your bank account. I remember that. <laughs> I do too. Washington 21, Philadelphia 17. Conklin, after being shaken up on that interception, overthrowing on the sideline. He didn't know where Clyde Simmons came from, and he didn't know where Eric Allen came from. This is Brian Mitchell at the goal line. Abandoned by Jeff Seidner. And also down quickly, Maurice Johnson, number 87. Let's watch the interception again. We'll see here. Here's Simmons. He makes the inside move. And then we'll watch what happens up on top. You see the two receivers up on top. Now, if we stop it here, see, here's Eric Allen. He looked like he was running this way. He stops and turns and comes back here. So that's what Conklin, if he was able to see anything, he read Eric Allen turning. And then the next time he saw Eric Allen came off his guy and intercepted it. So it's first and ten, Redskin. Conklin back to throw. And going deep. Complete a flag on the play. Intended for Ricky Sanders. Mark McMillan back with him. Penalty marker down. I'll tell you, there's been some big penalties. This is one that goes in the Redskins' favor. That's that defense, head bobbing. Number 29 defense. First down. That head bobbing against the Redskins on the last series went against them. 29 is Mark McMillan. He's looking at the ball. I don't see too much wrong. Now, with that. I don't see any interference there unless it came before that play on the ball unless it was right in there. They called it right there because at the end at the ball it wasn't there. First down Washington at their own 48. I don't know. I would have said that's a jump ball. I wouldn't have called anything on that. Conklin with time this time. Gets it to Reggie Brooks. Stopped by William Thomas. You know, we know that Reggie Brooks can run because Richie Pettibone told him, you know, he's their home run hitter, the guy with the speed that can break a bit. How about those Eagle linebackers? That was William Thomas guarding him or running step for step with him. And that's one thing about these Eagle linebackers, Byron Evans, Seth Joyner, and William Thomas, they can all run. You could use them in pass coverage, not just to cover a tight end or something like that. You can put them on somebody else deep. Conklin again with whatever that means. Must mean a fade intended for McGee. Nichols again hit Conklin. This Nichols doesn't watch out. He's going to be the NFC player of the week. I mean, this guy gets in a four point stance. You don't see that very often. He just makes a heck of a move right now on Jeff Bostic. Just give him that hit and that swim and that arm over, and he's right up on Kerry Conklin. That's Conklin, and he has been under pressure, no question about that. Well, he's only been sacked once. I think he's had great poise today. Hurried four times, knocked down five times, and he's had two interceptions. One of those interceptions came when he was knocked down. Too. The knockdowns have been tough knockdowns. Attempt for the first down by Brian Mitchell and appears to have it. One thing I noticed when they go for the short yardage, they usually go to the right side. And I think they're really staying away from Gerald Nichols, who has been playing on the Redskin side of the ball all day. First down, Washington at the Eagle 42. 
Just over a minute left to play in the third quarter. McGee hit by Seth Joyner, but another Redskin first down. And again, they're working on, on Mark McMillan. McGee was Mark McMillan's man. And, and again, it's that corner pattern. McGee got him for a corner for a touchdown once before. And that time, that's the corner pattern out in the middle of the field. McGee got up and checked out Seth Joyner's number. But he got up. Got tight end. Yeah, I think one thing I think they're doing is checking where Mark McMillan is and going to work on him today. Have been able to shake many tackles today. Byron Evans on the stop. That was that same play. Joe Jacoby pulled through again on that play. Didn't hit anyone. I don't know how a guy that big can miss a ball, but maybe they're jumping out of his way. That's the end of the third quarter with the score. Washington 21, Philadelphia 17. Our coverage will continue after this message from your local station. You're watching the NFL on CBS. This is CBS. Those who expect more from a credit card must not settle for less. First, eliminate cards charging the highest rates or not offering fixed or variable rate options. Demand worldwide acceptance, 24-hour customer service, and gold card benefits. And insist upon price assurance, purchase protection, extended warranties, and satisfaction guarantee. So what remains? The Grand Elite Visa Gold Card from Chemical Bank. If you possess one, do use it. If not, apply now. Even though the Honda Accord has been one of the best-selling cars in America, we thought it was time to make a few changes. Like more interior space, dual airbags, better performance, and all-new styling. The 1994 Accord DX sedan. Basically, Honda changed everything but the price. at Veterans Stadium, Pat Summerall with John Madden. Redskins 21, the Eagles 17 as we begin the fourth quarter. Total yards for Washington 280. For the Eagles 227. Typical game between these two teams. Second and nine, Washington. Uh, whistle indicates, the officials at least indicate, that this is an Eagle timeout. And so they'll have two left. 21-17, Washington. Driver, do you have any Bud Light in your vehicle? Yes. Then I am Mr. Gally Weekich. You mean Dr. Galakowicz? Yes, I am. This is so cool. First time in a limo, doctor? In a limo this small. If you want great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light.
see this as direct mail or see it as a document and add the impact of color. One company increased response by 25%. See your documents differently. Call 1-800-ASK-XEROX, the document company. This game summary is sponsored by Bud Light. The Redskins scored 14 points in 34 seconds. They've gotten 14 points also off those TOs, that's turnovers. Rushing yards, Washington 76, Philadelphia 40. I like that. TOs, turnovers. That's football. Second and eight. did and down he goes again. He heard him coming that time. Flores. Boston leads the Yankees in the sixth, four to two. Toronto also in the sixth, one nothing over Minnesota. Baltimore beating Milwaukee and Cleveland ten nothing over Detroit. In the National League, Philadelphia five, Montreal four, bottom of the fifth, nothing nothing, San Francisco and Cincinnati. Third and eight. At Veterans Stadium. Fate was to Biner, Conklin throws and throws it out of bounds. Eric Allen all over Art Monk. And we talk about Daryl Green playing so well in the in the secondary for the Washington Redskins, and he is Eric Allen is playing very well for the for the Eagles secondary. Not only did he have that big interception earlier, but just his coverage all day has been excellent. He's kind of one of those guys you want to stay away from. And I think that's probably part of why they were going to Mark McMillan and work on the other side. Maybe it's to Mark McMillan, but maybe it's also a way from Eric Allen. Low Miller from 38 yards, good. With Eilers holding, the Redskins add four more and lead 24 17 in the opening moments of the fourth quarter. Coming September 24th, face the pain, fight the pressure, feel the power, and get with the program rated R. The success of any organization of human beings really depends upon how well they can work together. So we try to hire good attitudes. Uh, I think the easiest way to lose success is to become convinced that you are successful. I think American Express has a distinctive market. I've really been uh, very appreciative of not just the card itself, but the service behind the card. American Express is welcomed on airlines all around the world. Herb is kind of partial to his corner of the world. If 800 service is how you fish for sales, you should know AT&T's nearest competitor is twice as likely to have a network outage. And when that happens, you might not get as many bites. One of the 800 reasons to choose AT&T 800 service, the best in the business. You'd be so nice to come home to You'd be so nice by the fire You'd be so nice You'd be paradise to come home to Introducing Business Saver. Free faxes, movie, fitness center, and free local calls. And most Hiltons proudly offer AT&T long-distance service. Business Saver. CBS Sports coverage of the National Football League is sponsored by Castrol Syntec, the synthetic oil that protects in ways other oils can't. Hilton Hotels, so nice to come home to. Hertz, the people's choice in rent a car for 75 years. And by 6,500 Radio Shack stores nationwide. Washington 24, Philadelphia 17. Just got a field goal from Chip Low Miller, and he's about to kick off. Line drive to Sikahama. Tripped up at about the 20 by Pat Eilers again. I think if there's anything you say that the Eagles have to get started, it, even though it's a fourth quarter, they still have plenty of time. They're just down by one touchdown. They have to be able to run the ball. They've only run 40 yards all day. In fact, in this half, they've only rushed for three yards. That won't get it done. 
see their season average is yeah. 164, and they're one quarter of that. Hebron is the deep back. They make to him look out. Randall Cunningham has to take off from behind by Monty Coleman. Coleman made him come out of the pocket and then ran him down. That was a heck of an effort by Monty Coleman. You know, he doesn't look like a guy who's played 15 years. I mean, his body doesn't look like that kind of guy, but also his effort doesn't look like that. Because watch him. He comes here, and he's going to miss the first time right there. Randall gets away from him. He misses. But watch him. He keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. And he gets a tackle and almost gets the ball. Second down. Cunningham back to throw it. Again under pressure. Again. Calvin Williams, the intended receiver. Well, Williams is saying, don't throw it to me when both those safeties, Brad Edwards and Danny Copeland, were both on him. Again, pressure from Coleman. He was saying about going back to training camp this year, you know, this might be my last year, but I still feel like a kid. At least my head feels like a kid. My body doesn't know about it yet. Uh, and his body looks like a kid. I mean, I'm sure it doesn't feel for 15 years linebacker in the National Football League. That body can't feel like a kid's body, but it looks like a kid's body. And it acts like a kid's body. The last couple of plays. Whoa. Banks, I believe, was coming on a blitz. Banks tried to hit that snap count. You know, you try and you try and get in the, the rhythm of the quarterback and you try and hit that hole just as the ball snapped. Banks got there a little prematurely. Encroachment, number five yards, third down. That was more than as encroachment. You see, here's Banks right here. Now what he's gonna try and do is he's gonna try and hit that gap just as the ball snapped. You see, and he starts to move up, and he starts to move up. See him try and time it, time it, time it, and Randall didn't get the snap. Remember when it used to be just four? The guy was on side. Uh, now he encroaches. I thought he did more than encroach. I mean, you go all the way by the ball through into the backfield. That's more than encroach. Cunningham again flushed down the ball. Gets the ball this time. To Jeff Seidner, and that'll be enough for an Eagle first down. And he beat Tom Carter on that time. And that play, you know, the, the Redskins' first two draft choices this year were from Notre Dame. Tom Carter, number 25, who just made that play, or in fact was beaten on that play, made the tackle, was the, the number one Rose draft choice. Steel. And Reggie Rose Brooks Rose. was the number two draft choice, both from Notre Dame. First down, Hebron gets only a couple. Eric Williams made the stop. You know, watch how Randall Cunningham threw that last pass. You know, he doesn't have to have perfect footwork or anything. I mean, he can throw. He's running to the right. He throws across his body back to the left. That's when, I mean, he is such a good athlete and has such good feet and hands and able to throw the ball. He can be in any position and be effective with it. Plus, he's about 6'5 and strong. Fakes the handoff. Randall Cunningham scrambles down inside. The Redskins 35 tripped up by Edward. And that's the play the Eagles needed. Remember, we said they weren't aggressive, they weren't running. They needed an aggressive move, and here it is. Now watch, he's gonna get he's gonna get Shane Conlon caught inside. See right there, 91. Then he's gonna get outside. Now he outruns Conlon right there, and then he starts breaking. Instead of going out of bounds, 90% of the quarterbacks in football, they go out of bounds there. Not Randall Cunningham. He knows. He has to make something happen and be aggressive in this situation. 26 yard scramble run by Randall Cunningham. They've got to hurry now. Get rid of this play in time, and Cunningham goes deep and complete with a flag back at the line of scrimmage. Intended for Barnett. You know, we've seen him go to Calvin Williams, and we've seen him go to his tight ends and backs, and we haven't seen him use Barnett much. Barnett is had a, a quad injury and hasn't been full speed but you talk about home run hitters when 
he is healthy Fred Barnett is the home run hitter for this Eagle team and if you need a big play he's the guy you go to he's one of the few guys that you can get double coverage and still throw it to him he can catch it remember in New Orleans last year in the playoff game the catch he made to get him back in the game really just before halftime. Now the officials are wearing glasses now that's always a good sign. Some of them. Moving therefore they have to become stationary before the ball can be snapped still first down five yards. See now what what he's saying there is is you can go in motion but if you go in motion or more than one guy goes in motion then that's a shift and if there's shift you have to get stationary for a second before you can move. What they were saying is they had movement and they didn't stop before the ball was snapped. First and 15 at the Redskin 39. I got 54. Joseph stopped by Banks not much and Govea you know that Govea again is all over the field it's not only on the run but the guy's instincts are just so good I mean, he really is an amazing player I mean he's not that big he's not that strong but he just has a great presence and he has a good name you know like for a young kid Govea is a good guy to be as a role model because he got all the fouls in his name checked about A-E-I-O-U. And his first name is Kirk. <laughs> Cunningham gets it outside to Walker. Walker forced out of bounds. Darrell Green knocked him out of bounds. And then there's another hit and a flag on the play. Walker was fighting to stay in bounds. He was hit first by Green and then by Lamont Hollenquist. I don't know if he just saw it or if he's hurt. I don't know, but he went down. I mean, right after that flag came out, Holland Quest went down. And I think it was just because of the penalty that he went down. And coming out here now, Green First just foul. pushes the guy. Now he's out of, out of bounds. bounds. 96, unnecessary roughness. 15 yards from the end of the play. First down. He just got one of those stingers. Yeah, well, what he did is say is Herschel Walker's out of bounds, and he just hit him right there. I mean, he may have he may have gotten a stinger there. You can see him grab his arm. He did get a stinger, but that 15-yard penalty is going to sting him more than that left shoulder. And the comments that he'll get as a result of that. First down, Cunningham outside. Martin to about. Just outside the 10. One thing Randall Cunningham said this year that Zeke Bradkowski has really worked with him. If you ever see that corner off, if they're going to play off of Barnett, if they're going to play off of Calvin Williams, just take that three step, boom, just get it out to him. And that's what he did on that play. Zeke Bradkowski just had some of, his, some of his college records broken yesterday at the University of Georgia. That's Hebron. Inside the 10 to about the eight and a half. Von Hebron was saying last week against Philadelphia they were they were down they were uh, the score was tied they were driving down for that last drive and and Rich Kotite had him in the game and he said every time he look at the sideline Kotite would have his arms like hold on to the ball hold on to the ball hold on to the ball he said but his teammates only set it in the huddle once and he was glad he said sometimes you can just be reminded of things so many times that you think that's what you have to do third and four Walker is the only setback this time he picks up the blitz touchdown Eagle Alvin Williams second of the day injured Eagle on the play one of the offensive linemen that's Eric Floyd, I believe, who's down. The right guard who's been doing an excellent job all day. They've been having a little trouble on that 
left side, but they've been doing an excellent job on that right side. Eric Floyd had a pull hamstring coming into this game, but I'll tell you, Randall Cunningham made a great throw to Calvin Williams for that touchdown. Final call. We've got to move fast, Kirby. I hope your book hurts. Uh, not exactly, but this company's fast. As fast as Hertz number one club goal? Not exactly, but they do have a special place to pick up the car. Like Hertz? Not exactly, but it'll be waiting. Under a canopy? With the keys in it? Not exactly. And protected from the weather? Not exactly. In Rent-A-Car, there's Hertz and there's not exactly. Make sure you choose the right one. Counting on that promotion, Kirby? No, not, not exactly. Not ah! When you buy a Super Color TV antenna from Radio Shack, you get a great value. Radio Shack has everything you need to make installation easy. Super Color's advanced technology gives you great picture quality and remarkable sound. Reception so clear. Hey, great picture, huh, Howie? Uh, you'll feel like you're a part of the game. Just in time for football. Two great Super Color antenna values for cities, suburban, and long range from 2488. Only at Radio Shack. One of these engines was filled with Castrol Syntec, a synthetic oil, the rest with conventional oils. They were then drained and started without oil to prove a point. You see, Syntec has a unique molecular structure that bonds to engine parts. Lab tests show it needs a layer of protection far stronger than conventional oil. And if Syntec protects this well now, imagine if you leave it in. Castrol Syntec protects in ways other oils can't. Matt Barr set for the extra point. The Eagles down by one. Matt Barr's first weekend here. Got here Thursday. Met the owner yesterday. The life of a kicker. Eagles holding. Tied at 24. left to play 24 24 time let's watch a touchdown again Pat here's Calvin Williams he's going to come in and run a slant right in here Cunningham throws a perfect pass in fact the only guy that can catch this one is Calvin Williams see he runs in there and AJ Johnson keeps going keeps going and look at that ball that was a perfect throw perfect Cunningham's watching him all the way, and he puts it right there. If anyone's going to catch it, the only guy it's going to be is Calvin Williams, who has a step on A.J. Johnson. Bruised knee. That was his left knee, and right. he, what happened is they got collapsed on it. He was blocking, and the pile came from his left side and just went right down on Eric Floyd's left knee. If it's just a bruise, they're lucky. Yeah, see, here's Eric Floyd here, and you can see what happens to him. See, he's blocking. He doesn't even see it come. Now watch right, right there. You see, they get it, and they get his left knee and twist him over. Bars kick off at the goal line by Brian Mitchell. And again, the Eagles special teams do an excellent job. 24-24 tie. James Joseph was down early, along with Derek Oden, number 58. You know, we said that the Eagles had to get some running going, and they did get running going. They got it with Randall Cunningham. Randall Cunningham, I think that when he went out, he got around Shane Collins. I think that was the big play of the game, the big play of that series. Now I think the Redskins also, they can't forget their running game. Skins a couple of players shifting Monk and Middleton. Now they're set set long enough. Brooks. He can go. The home run hitter. Just hit it out of the park. 85 yards. Richie Pettibone's clapping for his home run hitter. 
Number two draft choice, a rookie. He said he's going to be our featured back today. He featured him in the fourth quarter when he needed it. Griffin to whoo, all the way. What is it? It's that little trap. It starts up the middle, some missed tackles there. And once he gets to that point, you know it's a touchdown. Yep. Well, there's an eagle injured now up to his feet. Clyde Simmons back at the line of scrimmage. Well, we felt that the Redskins had to get some running game going. And you were thinking of getting some running game going, getting some first downs, moving the ball. You didn't think of boom, one play all the way in a touchdown running game. That's Brooks. a running game the way it should be. <laughs> 19 carries, 153 yards, and that touchdown for Brooks. That's the way you like to feature a guy. I was going to say, when Richie Pettibone says we're going to feature a guy, Richie Pettibone <laughs> features a guy. And when he says he's a home run hitter, he's a home run hitter. Low Miller's extra point is good, and it's 31-24, yeah, Washington. You talk about noise in the stadium and, and how you can take it out. You know, they always say, what are we going to do for the noise? The quarterbacks can't hear, blah, blah, blah. The way to take the noise out of a stadium is what that guy Reggie Brooks just did there. Take a ball and run it 80 or 90 yards. Because this place was noisy. They had Conklin, who's playing his first game ever, starting his first game ever in the NFL. He hands it to a rookie. You know, he makes him miss a couple tackles and runs all the way. And did this stadium go quiet? In a hurry. McKenzie got the last block that shut down anybody that had a shot at him. You Wait. notice that once Brooks got through there, no one ever closed on him either. <laughs> I, I was talking to one of the Redskin coaches before the game, and based on what Richie, Richie Pettibone had said to us, this was a defensive coach. I said, which one is Brooks? They didn't have their jerseys on at the time. He said, I'm not sure. I think that's him down there. I guarantee you they'll know him now. Yeah. Everyone's going around there. And you notice the first guy that's there are always the offensive <laughs> linemen. And like I said earlier in the game, the, the best friend of a quarterback is a good running game. And Brooks is going to be Conklin's best friend and Rippon's best friend. Low Miller's kickoff sails through and out of the end zone down there by Seidner, so the Eagles will have 80 yards to go. And just under eight minutes to get it done. Yeah, and that's plenty of time. I mean, the, the one thing that the Eagles don't have to do is they don't have to worry about time. Time is not important right now. They have to think about first downs. They have to think about mixture. I think they have to think about being aggressive again the, the way they were the last time they have the ball. And they probably need a big play from Cunningham. Do you give up the run now? No, I don't think so. No, I think they have plenty of time to continue to mix. Cunningham back to throw. Going deep for Walker. Walker makes the catch with two or three steps. Hey, Randall Cunningham is so confident and so loose. I mean, that throw that he threw to Calvin Williams for the touchdown, and then this one to Herschel Walker were perfect passes. But as he just comes a little roll right, has his guard out there, he stops. Sees Herschel Walker. Herschel Walker again. You always think of him as a running back, but Herschel Walker has great speed and he just runs by he everyone. He's lined up as a wide receiver. Well, that's the thing that Herschel Walker can do. You know, they line him up in the backfield, they hand him the ball, they let him block, and they also line him up outside as a receiver. Here's Hebron. And a flag on the play. A.J. Johnson up to make the stop. On Hebron. But a flag down. Holding. His microphone hasn't been functioning. His, not Holding. ours. Now it's fine. Number 84 offense, 10 yards, still first down. Called against Bavaro. Today's game was produced by Bob Stinner.
Directed by Sandy Grossman. Coordinating producer of the NFL today is Eric Mann. Directed by Bob Matina. Senior producer of the NFL on CBS is Ed Gorin. Executive in charge of production is Rick Gentile. First and 20. Walker was the man in motion. Cunningham out of the pocket. Cunningham taken down at about the 20. And up in a hurry. You know, one thing I, I, I like to see Cunningham or run the ball, and I like to see him keep in bounds. It seems like more and more guys are just running out of bounds. You know, running backs, wide receivers and stuff. And defenses start to play that way. A.J. Johnson is playing for him to go out of bounds, and when he cuts back, it's a big surprise to him all the time. I remember seeing Joe Montana stay in bounds one time, and the rest of the team had just relaxed. I know, and he, he made a cutback. Yeah. Steve Young always does it, and the other guy that does it is right here, Randall Cunningham. Here's Walker. On second down, they needed about six. They got about one. Stopped by Bobby Wilson again. Yeah, Richie Kotite is going to have an interesting decision here. If he if he doesn't, this is third down coming up. If he doesn't get a first down here, do you kick a field goal or not? I think they have plenty of time. I mean, I would I would think the play. I mean, the play now is to get a first down and then get a touchdown. But if you don't, I think the play is you kick a field goal. 5:20 left to play. The Eagles are down by a touchdown. Third and five. Barnett was the man in motion. Here is Cunningham looking, and down he goes. Bobby Wilson. Now I think they have to kick the field goal. I mean, that's that's the thing that hurt when you get that big play and you get knocked out of field goal position, or you get knocked back. There is a flag on the play. But there, there's been some big penalties. Haven't there though? Redskins are going to say. Let's turn this one down, I believe. Illegal shift, number 86 and 89, both moving on Philadelphia, not getting reset prior to the snap. The penalty is declined. They'll take the result of the play, fourth down. See, what happens is you can have one guy move in motion, but if you have two guys, they have to set. Matt Barr is out on the field. He was saying yesterday, I, got, I have an advantage. First of all, he said, I've got more from the NFL than I can ever get back. I feel very fortunate. But you really don't have to learn a new system. You just have to have a good holder. He is good. From 42 yards out, Matt Barr hits. He might be here more than a week. Yeah, I think that was a good play. I think the, the Eagles had to do that. Kick the field goal here. Now you're going for the win. Now you come back, you get the score, you win the game. Talk about poor health care. Nothing poor about the medical labs that have gotten rich swindling the public. 60 minutes, a brand new season, brand new stories tonight on CBS, followed by a special sneak preview of It Had to Be You, the new romantic comedy series starring Faye Dunaway and Robert Urich. CBS Sunday movie will be shown at a special time, 8.30 instead of 9 o'clock. The network TV premiere of The Hunt for Red October, starring Sean Connery and Alec Baldwin. It's all tonight on CBS. Boy, that's a great movie. Hey, this is a great NFC East I'll game. Say, you know, yeah. I mean, it just seems like... Anytime you get the Redskins and the Eagles or the Giants or the Cowboys, Eagles, Cowboys, Redskins, Giants, Eagles, you know, whatever, all those combinations seems to be what NFL football is really all about. Bar to kick it off. Gonna bounce. Out of bounds, they'll bring it to the 35. That's the one thing he didn't want to do. And that was the one thing you know when you get Matt Barr, you're gonna get a a tested veteran you're going to get a guy who's not going to get jittery out there on you. The thing you're not going to get is a good kickoff guy. He kicked that one out of bounds earlier. He undercut one and uh, his first one though went in the end <laughs> <Yep>. zone. <laughs> well that one he pulled hooked. Yeah I know. What do you guys call that in the golf thing if a guy what do you call that that real hard hook to the left. 
duck. Yeah, duck hook. That's right. the thing, yeah. You got your duct tape, your duck hook. Sometimes passes throw them, they look like ducks. Now that's my game of three weeks ago. There is Cochran. Couple of pumps and down he goes. Clyde Simmons had cramps in his legs. He got rid of those. It's time to put the heat on Conklin. You can't pump too many times. Ricky Sanders is there in the right going deep. He's trying he pumps once. You can do that, but you better throw it the second time. And he was just right there for the second pump. You know, you don't get a lot of pumps in this league. I mean, you better get back there the way they do it now. You get back, you plant, you throw. If you get back, you plant, you pump, then you better throw quickly after that, or Clyde Simmons is going to be there. Or you might get water. There's a handoff to Brooks over the left side for about three. Now, if you look what Gary Conklin has done, he's he's impressed me today. I think as much with his poise as anything, but he's really moved the ball. He's thrown it to his out receivers, outside receivers 11 times, only once to his tight end, which they never do at Redskins anytime, and, and four out of five to his backs. Be careful here, third and 11. Conklin. Back to throw, no blitz. Almost picked off, it's incomplete. McGee almost had it also. Did catch it after it was deflected, but out of bounds. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. They're marking well, maybe. it. There. It looks like it's on the Redskins sideline. Don Bro, one of the Redskins coaches, was helping him officiate on that play. They started to spot it there. I think they marked it. I think they said that McGee caught it. And caught it in bounds is a key word because we did see him catch it. There's a deflection. It's tipped there. Now McGee catches it. You watch. He, he has it. both feet down, and he's right on the first down marker with the feet. I don't know. You know his feet were in. I don't know that he wasn't bobbling. He was that bobbling ball the ball. I yeah. Think. So then it doesn't count because you have to have control of the ball with both feet in bound. But they did count it as a reception, but it's not enough for a first down. Because it was right at the first down marker. Again, I don't think he has control of it. And you see there, although the feet, the feet were really at the at the uh, marker for the first down, but again, it's where the ball is. It's not where the feet are. And does he have control of it? I don't know that he has control anyway. But the Redskins are going to punt anyway. Timeout, Eagles. They have one left now. I think the Eagles took a timeout hoping that maybe there was still instant replay yeah. or maybe someone could look at the replay and talk them into not giving them that. Well the Saints and Giants have remained unbeaten. Pittsburgh will get their first victory. 30 seconds left of this. You know there's been a couple early one, uh, uh, ones with Tim McGee where his feet were in. You know that one and then his touchdown that we saw earlier. Remember that corner pattern he got for a touchdown? His feet were awfully close then to they being in. They were. So both times I think they gave him a little benefit of the doubt. Now Roby back to punt. Remember the last time he tried to punt? The snap was low and he couldn't get rid of it. Up until then, he had been punting over 50 yard average. Now they're saying no Philadelphia timeout. So that means they have two left. They got a bunch of guys that look like they're trying to block this one. Reggie Roby. To the up back, it's a red skin first down. You talk about surprises. I'll tell you, that's Richie Pettibone. That's the kind of guy he is. Brian Mitchell. That's the way he was as a defensive guy. You get him that fourth down. That was a snap all the way to Brian Mitchell. He's the fullback or the short guy in the punt thing. They just snapped him the ball back. Watch, here's Mitchell right here. Here's a punter Rover here. They just snapped the ball to Mitchell. He got his hands up, boom, he just finds a little crack in there, hits it just enough to get a first down. 
This is what it looks like from behind. You see the center. It's a little tough snap for the center because he doesn't snap it straight back. He has to snap it a little to his right. Takes There's some courage to make that call. And that guy hugging Richie Pettibone was Wayne Severe, the special teams coach. Courage, also known as guts. There are other names for it. I don't know if Wayne Severe called that and Richie Pettibone went along with it or Richie Pettibone called it and told Severe, let's do it. But there's a happy Wayne Severe. And a very happy Richie Pettibone. Richie Pettibone has done a heck of a job of coaching in this league for a long, long time. Brooks hang on to the ball. Hit down by Wes Hopkins. And Mike Flores. And the thing is that that at the Redskins by going for that on fourth down what they're doing is just buying time. I mean buying time running time off the clock making the Eagles use another timeout and so on. What did he say to us last night the road to hell is paved with good intentions. That's what Richie Pettibone said. <laughs> That's more than good intentions. Hey, he made a couple gutsy calls that fourth down one and then the fourth down on the goal line where he went to play pass and threw the touchdown or his quarterback threw the touchdown to Middleton. Dejected for the moment at least Philadelphia sideline. Some baseball scores Boston over the Yankees 5 2 Toronto over Minnesota 2 nothing. Baltimore beating Milwaukee and Cleveland 12 nothing over Detroit in the night. Like Toronto might pick up a game if it stays like that. Philadelphia 5 Montreal 4 the Giants over Cincinnati 4 2 Saturday that pennant race those pennant races changed. Complexions and continue right here on CBS. Monk in motion. I'm going to have to pass deflected. That was a big down for the Eagles because that stopped the clock there. They only have one timeout, but the clock is stopped now. Then they're going to get a timeout at the two minute warning. So, really, that gives them a timeout there. They just bought a timeout. They're going to get a timeout here with the change of possession and the two minutes and then they have one timeout left. Roby back to punt and this time the ball will come all the way back I'm sure. Fourth and about 12. Good snap. Another towering punt by Roby. Sikahema makes the fair catch at about the 17. Now we'll get the two minute warning. That ball stayed up there a long time. Hammaker Schlemmer is a catalog company. It was established in 1848. We are the first one to introduce the toaster, the electric shaver. They had been an AT&T customer for over 100 years. Now they're with MCI. They said, tell us about your stores, tell us about your products. And they came up with a great package. They try to understand their customers' needs, and then they customize that package so that the customer truly benefits from service to savings or the attention that we need to get. Uh, MCI is the only choice. I don't get it. Some guy bets 228 and makes 3 million bucks. <laughs> Can you imagine what Willie Mays would be worth today? Yeah. No holiday sweepstakes. Another Heineken, right? Yeah, please. No blimp with our name on it. No racing team. None of that is what made Heineken the number one imported beer in America. Where's all that money come from? Ticket prices. Yeah, I guess. And all those beer commercials. I'm always looking for good ideas, so I said to the Xerox rep, What are you selling? Documents, she shoots back. Documents? You must be kidding. I don't have time. Precisely. That's what I'm selling, she says. Do all your printing electronically, save time and money. And I see it. Print all my catalogs in a week, not a month. Huge savings. I get it, I say. My documents are my time. Now you're talking, she says. See your documents differently. Call 1-800-ASK-XEROX, the document company. Hey, 
Hey, Jerry, catch this. Nice catch. We'll be in New Orleans for the Saints. Saints beat Detroit today. Here's Cunningham with time. Gets it to Calvin Williams. First down, they hurry up. Cunningham was saying yesterday that's his favorite pass to throw, what he calls the 11-yard stop. And that's exactly what that was. They have one timeout remaining. He's back to throw again. They trail by four to Walker. Herschel down at the 35. Kurt Govea made the stop on Walker. Clock still running. 120. Well, the Eagles only have one timeout. They don't want to use that now, but they should try and get the ball outside and get it out of bounds to stop the clock. Second down. Cunningham gets it to Calvin Williams. What a day he's had. First down. Downs it. Welcome those of you who just joined us. Washington 31, Philadelphia 27. 50 seconds left to play at Veterans Stadium. The Eagles have one timeout left. You know, by getting that uh, by getting that reception, they were able to to just stop the clock there with that play and just throw it down. They still haven't used their one timeout. You see Richie Pettibone on the sideline and he still calls the defenses and you know that it's going to be something different. Well based on what he's done so far today it's going to be a surprise to everybody. He said we have defenses we haven't even used. In fact we have so many we can't practice them. Well if you look at that sheet that he that he wears on his front there you know that he has so many he can't fit them on one page. He has one page he looks at, and then the back page, they have a whole bunch of them on. I think it's a good thing he's got that list tied to it. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't want to lose that thing. They haven't changed the indication of it being second down, but Cunningham did down the ball on first down after they got the first. Now they still have it in the scoreboard on the stadium and on the sideline as first down. Washington took a timeout, we understand. I don't know why. Brad Edwards was stunned a minute. That's why the Redskins took this timeout. So it is first down. That's correct. So then the Redskins must have taken timeout before, before. the ball was snapped must have. because Cunningham did take the ball throw it down. So yeah. Brad Edwards was hurt. The timeout was taken and Cunningham didn't know it. 52 seconds remaining. Here's Cunningham back to throw. Out of the pocket, chase for a moment. And out of bounds. And that stuff. That is correct, John. This one, Cunningham gets out of bounds. That stops the cock, clock. The injury timeout was called before he downed the ball on the previous play. Now you see Cunningham is going back now. He knows he's either going to find something, find someone that's wide open that he can hit, or he's going to take off with the ball himself and get big yardage. This is why Randall Cunningham is so valuable. There's so many ways when he gets down here, there's so many ways that he can beat you. Second and one, 45 seconds left. Cunningham has his pass incomplete. And that Green made a dive at it, but no interception. Yeah, he's throwing to Fred Barnett. It was one of those option things that if the guy plays you inside, you go outside. If he plays you outside, you go inside. It looked like Cunningham read it one way that Barnett was going outside, and Barnett went inside. That's when the quarterback and the receiver really weren't on the same page. Third down, about a half yard. Doesn't really make much difference now. Cunningham gets it outside. 
to Fred Barnett. That'll be enough for the first, but the clock still runs. 30 seconds left. They still have their one timeout. There, Cunningham grounds the ball and does stop the clock this time. It'll be second and 10, 23 seconds remaining. Now, yeah, see what, what the, the Eagles were thinking by getting that first down. Now they can burn a play by stopping the clock. They still have their timeout. That means that in this series, they know they have to score a touchdown, but they can complete a pass to the inside. If they didn't have any timeouts, they'd have to throw in the end zone around. 23 seconds left on the snap. Calvin Williams again. The 19 yard pickup, and now they will take that timeout. Yeah, that's a combination. If you complete a pass to the inside, inside the field, you have to use your timeout. That's why they were trying to save it. Okay, now they don't have any timeouts left. They're going to be able to get a couple of plays in this 13 seconds, but they have to be in the end zone. Mark Bavaro can't practice during the week. Maybe one time, but on Sunday he produces. And I think the closer you get to the goal line, the more a Mark Bavaro, a Joseph, a tight end type, the more those types become your favorite receivers. I think out in the field, you have a Calvin Williams, you have a Fred Barnett, you have Bailey. You get down here, you want the tight end type of guy in there. Fourteen seconds now remaining in the game at Veterans Stadium in Philadelphia. Washington 31, the Eagles 27. No more timeouts for either team. Ball is on the Redskin 10. Cunningham knows he can't take a sack. He either have to throw it away or throw it into the end zone. Herschel Walker is the deep back. Joseph in motion. Cunningham looking. He could take off and might. Fire is incomplete. Banks and Govea. Govea number 54 broke it up. I don't know if he was throwing to Calvin Williams or Mark Bavaro, but you'll see two guys right there together. Watch Bavaro. He starts outside. He just runs right there, and then you see Calvin Williams come in. And it goes through Calvin Williams' hands. I don't know if he was throwing that to Williams coming in or if he was throwing it to DeVaro, who just got into the end zone. Ten seconds left. Cunningham to throw it. He's got some room to run. If he does, it's the end zone touchdown. Calvin Williams, third of the day. You give it to the coach, you give it to the quarterback, you give it to the receiver, 
but you got to give just a little slice of it to the offensive line. You really do. Eight catches for 181 yards for Calvin Williams. It's hard to say who won this game. I tell you, it would be something bad this game, but this scene, this feeling, it would be something you'd just like to put in a bottle and take with you. It's a great way to get back to football, I'll tell you that. This is football. Yeah, big ball. This is hitting weather, too. This is what it's all about. That tells you the story of what just happened. And the story is a bunch of guys went out and played all day and gave everything they had. Game's over. The Redskins looked as if they had it won. The Eagles came back. And Philadelphia remains unbeaten as they beat Washington 34 31. You see Rich Cote they just kind of raise his eyebrows. Woo -woo. You can't get any closer than that. When you have Randall Cunningham against you, the game's never over. Two head coaches named Richie put on a heck of a battle today. They surely did. So for John Madden, Pat Summerall saying so long from Veteran Stadium. Final score was 34-31. The Eagles beat the Redskins. Stay tuned for the NFL Today postgame show. Greg and Terry will have all the scores, highlights, and latest information. And you're watching CBS coverage of the National Football League.